Operation Genesis. But new, and to tie in with the new films, I guess. Uh, yeah, right. um, Operation Genesis. Well, that sounds pretty live to me. Good to go. It's take a while for YouTube to get back on. Get with the program, YouTube. Oh, blimey, they're already at it. Hello, chat. Yeah, uh, yeah, you pile of losers. I'm Yarty Crowshaw. And this is the post CP stream where we're playing a bit of Jurassic World Evolution. We that was the game I reviewed this week. Let me just grab the uh, link for everyone. Recline gently and undo my shirt a little bit. Really gold bloom it up. My uh, old friend Gabriel is of course with us again. Should I say the Gabetron 9000? We are private friends. I've been upgraded. Just for this week. Yeah. He's going home tomorrow. Yep. Right, there's a link to the video. I'm there. gonna take one of your Americans' fancy guns home, and I will rule Australia like a despot. Well, he did, hasn't bought a gun, but he did buy a Hawaiian shirt that he's sitting in now, as I speak, to my left. To be fair, I am doing laundry. Also, I, you know, this, I, 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 I think I pulled this off. There's a faint pastel quality to this, which I think, uh, I can, I can manage. A faint pastel quality. Yeah. I think. I think that's. that's a, I think uh, it's also an opera. Yeah, I think that. I was going to say. I think that's uh, Lars von Trier film. Anyway, <laughs> God, there's so much effort to watch. Like, I want to watch some of them, but like, oh lord. I think Dogtown was actually good, and I really went into that expecting to hate it. Thanks for subscribing, Epistemologus, 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 Epistemlingus. Have you uh What's seen a tier one sub? Uh I don't know. Is that a basic do you have like tiers of like chat citizens so uh, like I people you'll know. spit on and then Well if someone's got an icon next to their name it means we don't spit on them. Oh uh, okay. Do the icons mean different things? Like there's a the little crown and then there's the escapist E. What do those mean? I don't understand a lot of this business. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know either. New dinosaurs. I think someone I think the E means someone's a subscriber, but I could be wrong. All right. Oh, here's well, here's a park I made earlier. Ah, yeah, that's convenient. It's been running for a while, and my Triceratops has recently died of old age. It was actually old age, like someone didn't, you know, let a bunch yeah. of Velociraptors in there. Well, fortunately, I've been very diligent about keeping my herbivores and carnivores separate after the first disaster. <laughs> I'd have thought it'd be all right if, you know, they were all comfortable. Oh look, the the pleb spawn is on the patrol. I mean, like the pleb snake. It's like them, like when you see a mob of hairy caterpillars going up a tree. Yeah, and they all combine into that weird tube. Like I, to me, this is a game slightly at odds with the nature of the property. You know, like I, I assume you meant to keep the plebs alive. Yeah, although there doesn't seem to be terribly much in the way of lingering negative effects for letting the plebs die at the teeth of your velociraptor. <laughs> Because, yeah, that's sort of my first thing is, oh, I'm going to pick three plebs and they're going to be my main characters and then I'm going to give them a nightmarish dinosaur adventure. That's right. All my velociraptors have been dying of old age as well. So uh, I've got, I've hatched a couple more because if velociraptors aren't in packs, they lose all their comfort points and start breaking out of your fence. Ooh. Oh, he's a feisty little boy. Yes. I'll call him Lightning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Where's things to kill? There are some plebs. Importantly, I've built an antechamber uh, just outside the creation lab. Uh -huh. One gate leading into the carnivore pen. One gate leading into the herbivore pen. I'm guessing there were mistakes. Yes. The comfort was starting to lower because he was in an area he didn't like right. with no other velociraptors. Oh, now he is. he is and he's doing alright. His incel bar was raising. Godspeed. This park's been running a while. As you can see, I'm making money hand over fist. Good lord. Fuck you, Jeff Goldblum. It's actually quite easy. Yeah, well, it's... I mean, have you have you tried engineering any crimes against nature yet? Like, have you stuck sort of a velociraptor head on a triceratops or no, something? No, you can't do that. All uh, you can do is, like, stick a gecko gene in them so they don't... I don't know. It just makes them slightly harder to see or something. <laughs> Here's my giant herbivore pit. Ah, oh, look at that big fella. There's my Tyrannosaurus pen. There is one dinosaur there, <laughs> and there will never be any more. 
to so you can't can you breed them like can you pluck another t-rexes can live with other dinosaurs but the other dinosaurs won't like it very much <laughs> yeah that's fair <laughs> just be over in the corner <laughs> beard and wraith says does the voice sound low to anybody else well i can fix that by making the game even lower by the gods. He's tampering with science. Mike's a bit sensitive. Maybe I could just take the windsock off. Maybe that'll help. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. Uh, That's about uh, as close uh, as it's going to my face. Blah, 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 I can't blah, hear that blah, now without blah, hearing blah. the melodica version. It's just. It's replaced it. That is the version now. I don't like the new modern fancy version of the Jurassic Park theme, but it actually sounds like it was played by real people and instruments. Have you watched the Jurassic World? Um, I've seen the first one, and I haven't seen the second one. Yeah, I saw the first one. I Kiss might... was weirdly insistent that we go see it. Huh. In what way weirdly? Like, really uh, excited? Like, oh, this is going to be great, or just like, I'm going to hit you in the back of the head with weirdly something while you're watching Weirdly in that she doesn't it. usually insist we go out to the cinema much. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean... Anyway, this is a park that... She, 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 she just wanted movie theater popcorn, she says. <laughs> I understand that craving. It's the weird yellow powder. You can't buy it. Like, if I could just get a hold of that, then I wouldn't have this problem, but they won't oh, sell my, it to you. Oh, Chungus died. <laughs> All right. We'll have a Ceratosaurus as well. Chungus. Yeah, Kess is here as well. We've only got two mics, so it can't be a three-man stream, I'm afraid. You got, like, you have headphones with them. Yeah, but I can only plug in one sort of mic at a time. Ah. Uh. If I had one of them, like, sound boards. <coughs> I just didn't want to crash your reunion. One of them fancy I'll be things. Over there. Yeah, she's over here now. So these stats show you how you need to engineer their living environment to make sure their comfort score doesn't go down. So you can put. I mean, do the carnivores fight? I mean, I understand they don't eat each other, maybe. Oh, I think they eat some, each other. Some carnivores fight. Like, the velociraptors don't get on with the Anything. flappy head things that ate Dennis Nedry. Ah, uh, the, the uh, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, them lads. So, as you can see, it's all going in the blue now. Dennis Nedrysaurus. Ceratosaurus is not very social. <laughs> what that means is uh, they don't like too many other ceratosauruses around. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, if we compare that What's to... What's that other thing in there with him? Velociraptors. Oh, okay. So they leave each other alone. Yeah, Velociraptors have a slightly more than zero social rating, which means they have to have more than one. <laughs> if you've slightly. got one Velociraptor, their comfort score will start ticking down, and then they'll start smashing their head against the fence, and then they break out and eat plebs. Now, the Tyrannosaur, now that was a picky bitch. <laughs> so the Tyrannosaur can only have, like, exactly by itself, and then... Yeah, let me just find it. He's all right with population, so you can put other dinos in with him, but social's right down. No uh, no okay, other right. T-Rexes, thank you. So social measures his, his presence with his own kind and population and his presence with other things. And if his comfort rating go, slips just a little bit down, he very quickly starts smashing the fences. God, oh, fuck what a baby. Is, what a bitch. What a little noodly armed bitch. <laughs> the little arms are funny. That's how I have to eat when I'm on the plane. Now, Brachiosaurus are all right. Yeah, look at him. He's a fun lad. They do require very large pens with yeah. a mix of grassland and forest. Like, are there any that are, like, hypersocial? You know, because so far everything's been kind of, like, sort of, uh, yeah, I, could, I can deal with there being another human around me, but... Um, not of the ones I've created so far. Oh, okay. I think the Dracorix needs a few. Huh. Can you just, like, release a whole, like, pile of, like, little, um, Compsognathus onto the plebs or something? Oh, here he comes. What's that? that? Is that another? I think that's a uh, Diplodocus. Yeah. Can tell by his head bump where his nose is. Uh, well, I'm gonna change what game we're playing on Twitch because people can't stop banging on about it. I thought I did change it, but apparently not. Uh, it's the one thing they noticed, and you will never hear the end of it. Uh, we're playing uh, Jurassic uh, Vampires. No, we're not. There's one where we breed vampires and keep them in captivity to there. look at them. And now it says Jurassic World. Now, sure up. <laughs> oh, Viventa's in the chat. Hello, Viventa. How you doing? Who's Viventa? The person who usually comments with me because you're not around. Oh, okay. 
He's also British. We get on. Uh, I see. So your like little bars would be sort of like population low, but just above social for like other British. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. You need to put him with like two other British people in a pen, and then he's okay. Oh yeah, this is the other thing. This is this thing. You got three chunguses. You got the science lady. You got the entertainment man, and you got the security man. Occasionally, uh -huh. they give you missions to do, and once you get their score up, you can do their like story missions. How do you do their missions? Because missions in this style of game well, it depends seems a what the up mission is. This person's oh, okay, mission so is incubate, just... hatch, and release eight new dinosaurs. For a second, I was hoping we were going to go into like a first-person shooter. Why are you declining his? Because I can't be asked, frankly. Uh, I'm okay. only showing you a successful functioning park before we move on to something else. Oh, all right. I wasn't aware of the format of what was happening today. All right, get out of that. Your comfort's going down because you're not in your <laughs> special pen that you're supposed to be in, you big twat. Can you whop him in the butt? Like, it just does not seem to be motivated. Ah, oh, his social's in the red. Well, yeah, because he's, he's... It's... Like, he can't... I think that's a new one, actually. That's the Camarasaurus. Blame which is you. Slightly different to the Diplodocus and the Brachiosaurus. Huh. I didn't know there was another one. Well, I'd better create another one, then. If he's social, is not. Oh, look at all that business. zero social score. Yeah, I got money to burn. Let's just bring them out. Get one out with like a velocity. Marvelous Mr. Mr. D says back. this is like Zoo Tycoon but with less everything. Pretty much. There is one interesting feature. Bear with me. All right. How's he doing now? Steady on now. We're gonna. Yeah, we're go gonna, over to the forest. Something interesting might the forest happen. You might like. Need to get him some kind of like tender right. for dinosaurs. Where are we? The ranger station. Ranger team one, you're <coughs> up. You can drive vehicles manually. Oh, holy shit. Wait. Okay, can you just drive into. Die! Die, populace! I've are gone you, rogue. Are you killing them? No. Oh. This doesn't do shit to them. See, like, that's. Yeah, they just sort of scooch out of the way. I mean. I understand not wanting to add that as a thing that you can do in the game exactly, but I'd have come up with a slightly more, like, I mean, not an invisible fence, but maybe just like a chain link fence or something around the paths so you can't just be an outright tard. Well, most of the time, the cheap lads Aren't are AI people. controlled, oh, if you okay. just give them tasks to do. So they just be plowing randomly through the roads. You didn't want to sort out the additional AI required to get them to drive around people as well. Where's my T-Rex? There he is. Oi! Look pretty! The cameras are on. Hello there, Beulah. Rule of thirds, people. <laughs> yeah, that's just easy money. If you're really hurting for it, you can just run around taking candid happy snaps of what dinosaurs you have got. <laughs> and your Jeep guys are under absolutely no threat from the dinosaurs. Hey! Right, that's hey, lame. Like... Fight me! Bite my face. Because when it was roaring out, it was like, oh, look out, something's about to happen. Every time I think something's going to happen, nothing happens. Which is Go on, chase bordering me. on interesting in its own strange way. Chase me, chase me. Yeah. I mean, also, like, you could just, like, if, if, if Happy Snaps and your dinosaurs make you that much money, drones. Uh -huh. Like, you could have one right near his head. You oh, could on. glue a I GoPro to the front of it. The goat, oh, hell yeah. All right. All something right. is going to happen. Eat I it, believe eat it. it. Go on. Yes. <laughs> Drama. Oh, fuck you, species repetition penalty. That's like, that's lame. All the achievements for this game on Steam are quotes from Jurassic Park, the film. Okay, quotes from Jurassic Park, the good film, or quotes from Jurassic Park, the film this game is based on? Well, the original, because no one can remember any of the dialogue yeah. in the actual film this is based on, because it's really fucking bland. It's because the script just says Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt's. Yes. Chris Pratt, the boy next door done good. Hi. Chris, Crap, Chris Pratt, the Chris one your Pratt. mum loves. Chris Pratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. All right, that's enough of my going really well, Park. All right, let's, bedlam. Let's fuck something up. So we've got one I haven't started, which somehow has a four and a half rating already. Oh, oh no, no, it isn't. Yeah, that's the one I haven't started. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I just haven't done the story missions on this one because, frankly, I can't be asked. They're very arbitrary. It's like, spawn a dinosaur and then make it uncomfortable and then make sure it doesn't break out for 
two minutes. And frankly, it's kind of boring. But yeah. You know, like, but you know, I like a business sim to be goal oriented. I'm not really. I was playing that Surviving Mars game, and I just got really bored because it's just you're just there. Yeah, just build up and build up and never stop. What of other? Because I only ever played, I think, one of the theme park tycoons from ages ago, just to you know launch people off of roller coasters that went nowhere. And like, what are the goals? Like, how do these other games structure goals? Because these missions do seem dumb, but I have nothing to measure them well, against. Well, the goal is build up the park to the point that it's making money. Uh -huh. And then once you've done that, uh, build up your rating with the three teams until you can do their story missions. And then do their story missions. And then... Hooray for you. Move on to the next island. Uh, okay. What happens when you complete all the islands? I don't know, and I don't care. Probably not yeah. a whole lot. Because I feel like you could... Are there natural disasters? Like, does does a weather event knock your fence down and, you, oh, you got to deal with that? Yeah, there's occasional storms that mess up your stuff. But someone in the chat was asking, is there a sandbox mode? Yes, there is, and it's on Isla Nubla, where the original park was. Nubla. Let's check it out. Of course, in sandbox mode, you, you've got infinite money. So... It's Portuguese for nipple. It's like, it's like no challenge. You just ah. draw whatever you want. Okay. So let's do that. <laughs> you have John Hammond in the first movie, Money. Uh, yes, Gabriel's still here. He's no. now met my dog and Kess. <laughs> How are you getting on with Pepper? Pepper's a stream favorite. Pepper likes me. He was sitting on my lap earlier. Yeah, he likes everyone. He likes people. Yeah. He's one of those dogs where you could take him around and then say to people, huh, he doesn't usually get on with strangers, and then get them to feel really good about themselves. I imagine him, like, making tea for criminals that break in here. Probably. Well, he'd bark a bit, but then they would give him a pet, and he would love them forever. <laughs> That's all he wants. He's not really alerting you to anything. He's just he's just upset that he hasn't been pet. Bloody white tourists. I'd love to just take a holiday on a nice island like this. Just sit around and sunbathe. Maybe with but a no, they're unhappy if there isn't dinosaurs to <laughs> ogle. Right. <laughs> I'll give you dinosaurs. You should put the humans in cages and let the dinosaurs look at them. Aha. Uh -huh. I'd like, uh, a like a safari park. Yeah. This is Gabriel right. Morton's outer limits. Well, first we've got to build a lab for creating dinosaurs in. Okay. Do, do the labs automatically knock down the trees? Yeah. That's pretty good. They do got to power them and connect them to things with roads. Uh, so what's a good... It's just one thing after another with these labs. I'm saying what's a good place for dinosaur reserve, but we've got full control of the terrain, so we can just make whatever space we choose into a dinosaur reserve. Yeah. I don't have an opinion, honestly. I just want to eventually see what happens when people get attacked by velociraptors. I feel personally it needs to be velociraptors, because they're about people size. Like, something about a T-Rex, you know, I can kind of... I feel like I could be in a basement and they wouldn't know I was there, but, like, you know, the velociraptor would, like, call my mom to find out my location and then... You know, steal my passwords and probably steal my whole identity. They're super smart, I yeah. guess. You know, it had identity theft me and then it would just, you know, get the keys and the passwords to my house and stuff. And then, yes, well, yes. that'd be that. Identity theft is a verb now. One can be identity thefted. Yeah. Verbing. Uh, That's the term for that process. Small power station. Big power. Unlimited power. What's that from? The prequels. All right. Oh yeah. That's oh right. fuck! I put the, <laughs> the path over the over there. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll figure this out. Almost. Somehow. I mean, it's interesting to see again. Like last time I played was like you know roller coaster or theme park tycoon or whatever. So it is interesting to see what's happened with like the updates and you know modern oh, graphics. Fuck it, we've got infinite money. With um. You know what the game is capable of doing now. Like being able to zip down actually in the engine and drive around is kind of fucky and pointless as that wound up being. You is. Could, yeah, you could do that in Dungeon Keeper. I don't know. I never played Dungeon Keeper. Well, it was kind of shitty build engine style graphics, but you could do it nonetheless. That's pretty badass. Which one was the build engine? You know, Genie in 3D. Oh, right, yeah. Stuff. Right, we need a. Substation. I can go there. Now everything within range of the substation will get power. Cool. 
once the so how done. like strict is it in terms of building is it sort of like oh yeah close enough or i feel this feels like a close enough game uh, yeah kind of you do have to worry about what where things are it's not like SimCity city societies where you just plonk something down and you just get the benefit for it wherever the fuck it is <laughs> that seems piss weak that's way too close enough Yeah, the workers need a path to the power generator so it can work, so it can run. Because no one can walk across grass. Uh, I can figure that business out. All right. What well, am I? There's the Hammond Creation Lab. Ooh. Let's do some landscaping. First, I let's see what the fuck's going on here. Let's get rid of some of these bloody trees. Is there any sort of thing you can gain when you're doing this? Like, can you find, like, minerals or some shit? Or? No. Huh. This ain't Dungeon Keeper. Jack escaped the box run, asked, hey Gabe, is Yahtzee different? Now he has a dog and left a country that is trying to kill him with wildlife and weather, has a human girlfriend rather than the love pillow and appears to have success in his life without good fish and chips. Answer him. I'm thinking. Uh, sort of yes and no. Like, people have, like, depth. Like, that's, that's the first thing I understand. It's like, Yahtzee... You know, with me is different to who he is alone, and that's different to who he is. You know, with his yeah. now lovely wife, Cass. When I'm alone, I masturbate a lot. <laughs> Since we had the talk, um, but you know, it is it is nice catching little moments of Yahtzee being cute. I do like uh, you know the occasional glimpse into that sort of you know, that kind of side of him. It's fun for me. Okay, let's let's make this a little uh, puzzle for the dinosaurs to figure out. Okay, there is a. There's going to be a tiny gap in the fence. So if they want to chow down on tourists, they've got to figure it out. I want to believe one of them will not that out. Okay, so I'm assuming the dinosaurs can just walk through the trees. Yep. Uh, what about humans? Probably not. Uh, I think the trees are just not there in All terms right. of this collision. Because they block you from seeing things. And you can't like click on the fence if there's a bloody tree in the way. Yeah, that, that'll be enough water for my brontosaurus, I'm sure. It can splash around. Will, like, will, if you're playing seriously, would the brontosaurus just drink that whole thing basically in one go? Oh, hang on a sec. Now that, the water's infinite. As long as there's a pond, <laughs> it'll just be there forever. Now I need some things to lure in some human bait. I mean, tourists. <laughs> a visitor center. People, humans love visitor centers. I can't keep myself away from the damn things. Well, they do like gift shops. That is true. Let's put a little gift shop down for the tasty humans. Tasty, tasty humans. This feels a little midway to me between sort of... You know, this feels like an enthusiast form of game, but like without an enthusiast level of detail. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. You know, it's like I mean, when people... You can't you can't micromanage, there's no, like, you can't click on the individual patrons to see what their happy, yeah. individual moods are, like in, say, theme park. It's like, people keep trying to do this thing with fighting games where they go, we're gonna make a new fighting game, and the moves aren't gonna be hard to do at all. It's just forward and a button, and it's like, that's not the issue. And the other thing... Like, they're a weird niche. The other thing the plebs want is a viewing facility, so they can actually see the dinosaurs. Awesome. Alright. I like that it couldn't go in the nice clear area, but you could just dump it onto the goddamn trees. I guess that bit of fence wasn't big enough. Yeah. Okay, so they got a viewing platform, they got a gift shop. Right, well, what we don't have is any dinosaurs. You'll yeah. get nobody coming in until you got dinosaurs to look at. I mean, I don't know. I'd like to be there before there's a dinosaur so I can be like the first one to see the fresh dinosaurs roll off the conveyor belt. You know what? I think I'm just going to repair the fence just for now so we can lure some people in will they not show up if you don't have a five star safety rating right who's the big crowd pleaser mm. well, they, they do like jerks. meat eaters a lot more than herbivores the ceratosaurus has an 89 rating whereas the triceratops only has 36 they love them meat eaters they're fucking pervs they're well dinosaur you know fans live by the bloodlust die by the bloodlust what's that big thing down there roll scroll down a bit down. Yeah, that, who's that fella? Beats me. I haven't That's a, unlocked him yet. What an odd yet. looking thing. 
Yeah, like your default dinosaur is like your Struthiomimus, which nobody likes. He's got a rating <laughs> of eight. What a pleb. I mean, that's Fuck just... Fuck you. Fuck off, Struthiomimus. Nobody likes you. It looks right. like someone plucked a cassowary. Let's uh, get ourselves a ceratosaurus. Oh, it is, I yeah, I thought someone, because I saw Chung Kingosaurus in the goddamn chat, and I thought, oh, that's someone's joke, and it's like, no, that's, there's no. one there. Is that a real dinosaur in Dinosaurs, or is that something that's just popped up in the movies? It might have been a like dinosaur named by someone who likes a bit of a laugh. Yeah, I've always wanted to get the opportunity to name something like that. I want to get a ranger station in so we can get some jeeps and take some really good, high-quality pictures of the dinosaurs eating the guests. Have they at least put effort into that part of it? Like, are there people go, oh, I can get, you know, butchered up, or is it just like, oh, well, you've lost everything's a person. going on on like this level, like the high above the action level. So, so you can't really see much of what's happening to individual dudes. Uh, not even if you're in the car mode. Well, we'll see, because I haven't actually indulged yet myself. I wonder how much they'll pay us for a photo of human beings dying in hideous ways. Seems, I wonder who they'd be selling those photos to. The internet. No, Sarkmanza, Gabe isn't a regular thing now. <laughs> Gabe's pissing off tomorrow. He's getting on a plane, leaving on a jet plane. Yep. They're going to put me back in my little crate and then they'll, uh, they'll sedate me so I don't move around too much and hurt myself. And then I'll be back. Man, you got to get a lot of shit down before you can start sacrificing people for giggles. I haven't even drawn a cock out of parts yet. Yeah, that's probably important. Vroom. Everyone, you, you need at least one penis hidden in every theme park. I think that's a rule that Walt Disney came up with. Yeah. It. He's put hidden... Ball sacks all over the place. It's feng shui. It's it's male virility draws in money. I'll just wait for you to finish growing your ceratosaurus in a little chia pet <laughs> case. And then the people will come rolling in. Finally. They'll come in to see one kind of monster dinosaur and that's it oh let's put down the potentially ironically named fast food hmm bing can you eat the dinosaur meat no damn that's bollocks i reckon they could probably breed like triceratops actually you can you can sell dinosaurs after you've bred them to so who to whoever wants them maybe to a meat supplier <laughs> i feel like that'd be something that we'd have to deal with in this if the weather's real like oh yeah we'll just yeah roll up just craigslist yeah just grab a dinosaur oh, it's fine no guests want to see my gift shop ride a no, gallimimus around i just want the bloody dinosaurs i suppose i've always wanted to ride an ostrich but i'm just i'm worried i'm too heavy you could get one of them costumes that looks like you're riding an ostrich uh that's kind of the body pillow solution you know that's that is not close enough because i mean i know that they're quite like large and quite strong but i just you know i feel like if i hopped on one it'd be like and then just sort of throw me off come on let's get a dinosaur out <laughs> welcome to the exciting game of watching a dinosaur meter fill ding 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 dinosaur let's put a fence down in case i need to get in there yeah that's a good point just sort of quietly leave it open one night I don't think you can ride emus, dirty gut. Um, I think fundamentally they're a little, because the, the emus are a bit smaller than the ostrich. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Roy. I need Ooh. to put a feeding thing in there. <laughs> Got yourself a stoop. Meat. So, like, generally, like, I mean, I'm sure a kid could probably jump on one, but, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that. That's, I mean, the emu aren't as aggressive as everything else. Like, cause you can, you can just go to like the zoos in Australia and they'll have like just areas where you can hang out with kangaroos and emus and stuff. Oh boy, the oven pinged. Although generally they advise you not to like go near them if they start getting a bit stroppy. So Ceratosaurus is like your default carnivore. That's the one you get right at the start. I hadn't even That's heard what? of this one. Was this a recent discovery? What's it called? Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. I gotta look that up. It looks like a T-Rex, but smaller and with a horn on its nose. Cause yeah, the two that I knew was a, the... Uh, 
Oh, uh, God, what was it? Oh, you want, want Star forest, do you? Yeah? Someone wants Sor- a bit of forest, Sor- does he? Saurus. Dinosaur. Fine, I'll indulge you. <laughs> First described in 1884 by American paleontologist Paleo. Otniel Charles That's a Marsh. rather eccentric name. Otniel, that is. There, you got some forest. Yeah, there you go. The, this is the easy to keep carnivore. There you go. All comfortable. I wonder what makes Ceratosaurus such an easy... And here come the plebs. Oh, uh, look. It's a pleb storm. Hmm. No children. I wonder why. Uh, the game does that stupid thing where, like, it doesn't want you to murder children. Where did they come from? I didn't see them come from the gate. They literally just came out of the viewing platform. Are they all just waiting in there? That's where they're bred. Like like I said in the review, instead the, of eggs, this game treats the human guests like some kind of fungus. Yeah, like that's... You know, because I'm not going to sit down and play these types of games regardless of how simple they make them. Like, that is not my style of game that I enjoy. So, like, oh. I feel like dumbing them down is taking away the value that they have toward the people who actually do play these games. You know? Well, that's what AAA does, doesn't it? They try to dumb down the niche genres. Homogenize. And then the people who used to like those niche genres don't like them, and they just end up making third-person sandbox games forever. Hooray! Zoom, no, you can't. No, they're just generic plebs. Let's see how much visual variety they have. This is an adults-only island. Uh, you can just... You ever wanted to root in front of a Ceratosaurus? Fuck yeah. So there's no reason not to just randomize colors and tops uh, and look, bottoms. There's like a bunch of little cluster like, of identicals. Is that like a school party? Yeah. That's their uniform. They go to security guard school. <laughs> Like there's sort of people. There was a person there doing ha- arm airplane, which was sort of childish. But again, they were the same size as everybody else. Kill him. Hmm. Yes, Kenshin. It's Gabriel. I'm just going oh, huh? to keep spawning carnivores until something fucks up. <laughs> yes! All right. And you, the, the Deinonychus. Deinonychus? That's, that's the, uh, yeah, they're the... Um, I think that's the dinosaur that... The Velociraptors what, Yeah, what the Velociraptors are, yeah. actually are. Because for the original film, they knew Velociraptors... They knew even at the time Velociraptors were like two foot tall and feathered. But they thought the name was cool. So what they called a Velociraptor was actually a Deinonychus. Fun fact there. No, 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 fuck it. I mean, because again, we've got that now. It's called, uh, you know, cassowary. That's scary. I'm surprised that he's got enough water, actually. I guess he doesn't need very much. Yeah. Even so, like, the meat is all the way up to the end, even with one tiny little pond. Maximum meat. The little known mode of the crisis suit. Ever play Crisis? Um, Every time you activate a power in your, on Crisis, there's a little computer voice that says Maximum, and then the name of the power. <laughs> there's a Maximum Armor. I know I have it. Or I think Maximum I'll, Strength. I'm meaning to get around to playing it, because now I have a computer that'll run it. Quite a pleb buffet we've assembled. Excellent. Oh, look. Like they, th- they think there's a poor dinosaur variety. Well, let's see what we can Fucking, do. You're looking at a dinosaur, you piece of crap. I think this was a major theme of Jurassic World, wasn't it? They were like, the plebs just aren't that interested in dinosaurs anymore. They got over the initial shock. I mean, I suppose, but, you know, still. Lord Meme of England asks, is this game actually any good? I keep hearing mixed reviews on it. I think it's it's distracting if uh, you like a sort of bare-bones business sim. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is like the only kind of restaurant you can build. Fast food. The See, generic fast food. That's like Piss Week. I guess we could call it... Um, Yahtzee's Ass Buffet. <laughs> Wanko McFerrers. 
Hi, I'm Wanko. No, it <laughs> Now it's Wanko McFatto's Food Gala. But they're all the same generic fast food place. You can't make, can't give it a different colour or anything. Like that's the thing. Is like it's, you know, I'm not even playing it. I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if you could, like, you know, get enough money to get better food places and people maybe don't want fast food? Because fucking Theme Park had the, had all that. You know, you, you could... you could. Oh, you could build a bowling alley. Oh, fucking what? Oh, what? Uh, I tell a lie, there's one fancy kind Ooh. of restaurant. Oh, there is a restaurant. And, and also there's the bar. the bar. <laughs> Please come to the bar where you can enjoy our alcoholic beverages. All right, look, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to get all of, like, just take all the food away, have a nothing but bars, and then nothing but drunk <laughs> plebs just milling about with dinosaurs. See, if there were some new ones there, like drunk plebs more likely to try to get over the fence. Yeah, like, again, like, so then we're, we're, we're sitting here without much game going, oh, yeah, here's all these really easy sort of things you could do to you know, spice this up. Like, I probably want to get into that. Like, that's like yeah. getting rid of complexity is such a stupid fucking thing. I was playing uh, Moonlighter, the indie game where you run an item shop and it's also oh, right, a dungeon yeah. crawler. Huh, how does that work? Well, you go to the dungeons and you find a load of items and you take them to your item shop. But the item shop's really not very nuanced at all. You just stick it on the shelves and it's just a sort of unusually complicated vendor trash system. And then mm. I was directed by someone to a game called Reketeer, which came out in like 2010 on Steam, which is a Japanese item shop and random dungeon crawler some game before Moonlighter, and it's actually got very nuanced shop running mechanics. You can actually haggle. Yeah, so that, to me again that seems like sort of the point. Oh, uh, Dilophosaurus is ready. Sweet. He's the one that killed Seinfeld's neighbour. I do feel like you should be able to release a bunch of cloned Wayne Knights for the Dilophosaurus to no, spit on. No, it wasn't Rich Evans that directed me to direct the tears line, of course. I did so independently through... Research. Internet research and stuff. Well, I guess Googling pretty, video games is 80% of Yahtzee's day. I guess he's pretty easy to please as well. Needs a little bit of forest, though. Yeah, he needs a bit more. Blah. And it's easy as that. Huh. Now they're perfectly comfortable. Forest. I wonder if the Dilophosaurus will actually spit on our plebs, or will it just run up? I don't, you know, I'm wondering how generic the attacks are. Uh, I'm pretty sure things will fuck up now, because I'm pretty sure Dionyxes are like raptors and need more of their fellows. Nice mohawk fag. <laughs> it's Metro. By Furious. What one's that? Oh, I'm not sure because... Moonlighter does have stronger dungeon crawling pluvius. I think uh, the, the combat's actually kind of rote and a little bit too easy. I finished like the final boss, both forms, on like my first go. Oh, uh, they're not getting on. Uh-oh, no, spaghetti. kill the plebs. Kill the plebs, you stupid dinosaurs. You're expensive. They're not. I mean, the Deinonychus has like the melee, but ooh, that Dilophosaurus has the range. Get in there. Someone's got low health. Da, 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 da. Out of the way, da, da, you da, fat da, money sacks. Da, 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 da. They just phase into the... Save the dinosaurs. Like, and it's too many people, too. Yeah. yeah. Quickly, we must heal them. Who's... Let's keep this fight going as long as we can. So this is the stupid thing I mentioned in the review. Uh, if you don't have a helicopter... There is nothing you can do about escaped dinosaurs. That's fucking amazing. You can only fire healing darts from the ranger jeep. Because, yeah, th this, like, kind of, I can understand maybe replacing a bit of the, um, didn't you just dart them? Replacing some of the... Cha-ching! Oh, yeah, word. Replacing some of the minutia of the management with sort of more action-oriented stuff. Like, all right, maybe you're not driving around in a first-person, you know, Far Cry thing shooting dinosaurs. But, you know, if the dinosaurs get out, you've got to manually have, you know, humans go after them and the humans might get killed or, you know, your security team might be upset because you're not giving them the right weapons see, to handle the situation. See, I tried everything when the first time I got an escape before I had a helicopter. I got in my jeep. I tried, like, I tried, like, running cutting my over, losses and just yeah. running over the dinosaur in my jeep to kill it. That didn't work. Observe. No, stop killing. Yeah. Stop killing. Hey, what one? See, I kept pressing forward and my jeep just slowed by itself. You mean that was... You, Kill that wasn't... the dinosaurs! Oh, can't. 
Oh, Jesus. I, I'm continually pressing forward. I'll be down, the Dilophosaurus won. Oh, what do you know? I suppose, man, like, toxic spit. There were always, for, like, feral kids in Gudna who'd, like, start fights by, like, trying to gob on Kill you. Kill the Dilophosaurus. No, it's not allowed no, to me. No, it's not allowed to do things. What you also can't do is herd the dinosaurs by, like, driving in front of them and meeping your horn. Uh, that doesn't work at all. Like, what was the point of darting them? Like, they just didn't... Well, da the darting heals them if they're low on health. Oh, okay, so I, they're not, like, sedatives that... You can take them away. They're, oh, we can't get rid of that. They're dead. like Overwatch healthy darts. Oh, we can't get rid of the dinosaur corpse because we don't have a helicopter either. If only there was something that ate a lot of meat around here. Will none of them eat dinosaur corpses? I haven't seen them. Uh, the carnivores are just pricks. They don't. They kill each other just for larks. So many ways that I think are quite fundamental to the you know the genre of this game that would make this game better that they've just almost willfully eschewed oh, saving money i suppose i mean it's a tie-in i thought he'd, he'd need more of his kind before he went nuts if they're not going nuts fast enough i need more dinosaurs that go nuts <laughs> t-rex well, all right let's t-rex it yeah that's you know my million dollar t-rex let's dial this up to 10 you know i'm just gonna build a Helipad just for larks, because we can also control helicopters directly, and then you can have a laugh. You can just fly high above the plebs getting eaten and laugh. Yeah. Yeah. And that would suit me. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah. <sighs> You know, because again, like, like, there's been a few games. One of them, like, was a robot fighting game. I'm not even sure if that had wound up getting a complete release. There's another one someone's trying to make. And it starts from that sort of fundamental misunderstanding of what draws people to the genre. And, you know, like, complexity is an important point, because without that, what are you doing? You know, this looks like, I've, I feel like I've effectively seen the whole goddamn game now. Basically. I mean, what else have I got? I've got a restaurant. What's that? Ah, oh, it's a slightly different lump. Does it, you know, mechanically do much else? Mm. Well, we haven't drawn a path that's shaped like a cock yet. Of course. Can the dinosaurs walk on paths? You should give them, like, a little penis for their pen. Dinosaurs go wherever the fuck they want. A penis. Oh, yeah, you can just do one in the pen. Let's just pave over the dead thing. Alright. Damn it. Get out of the way. Got a little bit of a kink in the tail. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> there, it's a whatever the hell that is. It's it's very limp and cold. It's it's a grower, not a shower. Enjoy the path, bitches. Looks like Gonzo in profile. Well, if you're low on food and water, I think I, I know a solution to this problem. <laughs> Mr. Dilophosaurus. It's what you get for fighting with the Dynamicus. Yeah, there just seems to be a lack of... Hmm, what's missing power? Oh, yeah. We can't have helicopters. Wait, substation's there. I mean... Oh, I guess we're not producing enough power. The idea of, like, you can't have too many bars because, you know, drunk dipshits try to climb the cages would be great but like by the same token you can't have no bars because then people would get annoyed at being sober near dinosaurs we'll just overclock the power station Woo! so these low on health oh i guess uh that dude's been running into the walls all right i mean like literally that couldn't knock down that wall what a smart fella oh yeah doesn't he need friends no oh, that's the uh thing that killed seinfeld's neighbor yeah All right, let's hit him with darts to make him feel better. Put a little bit of cocaine and speed in the dart. That'll that'll that'll, that'll, that'll get him feisty. Yeah, that's, I'm sure that'll be of use to the scientists. It's research. Yeah. I've always wanted to get like a whale high. Well, let's resupply this carnivore feeder and click, bam, resupplied. See, again, like, the idea that you might have to, until you can afford, like, really good supply choppers, actually go into the pens like this, 
tranquilizer dart the dinosaurs, which takes, you know, is more mechanically engaging. Manually put meat out that has time, and you're like, oh, have I sedated mm -hmm. my my big fellow enough? Or just turn the game into a like actual fun first person shooter if you feel like it. Well, that too, but I mean, you know, I I feel like this is more a sim with a bit of you know. I hate that you can't drive and shoot. That would that would make things a little bit pulse pounding exciting. It's amazing that this game successfully does. Come a little closer. So few things at once. Come a little closer. Haha. -ha. Dinosaur is not sick. This is how we're going to vaccinate like Australians soon. Drive around. <laughs> Dart the morons. The Ceratosaurus is guarding his food stations and the Dilophosaurus is starving. Well, what a little bitch. Isn't he supposed to be a carnivore? Gonna what be a, spraying his phases on it. What a greedy pudding. We just need to give the D Dilophosaurus a supplement. Maybe I'll give them a goat dispenser. Then they can have something to team up against. <laughs> That'd suck being the goat. Well, you know. Sims don't need to be shootery, but one that has engaged that element of gameplay to absolutely negative benefit needs to think about how it's approaching the shootery element it's put into the game. We'll, uh scrape what's left of the goat up later which will be a scrape goat uh. <laughs> you didn't think I'd be going for a pun but I was that's me go, go kill a goat the love of part of me enjoys the Fire Club game just because it's on PS2 oh yeah he's not getting any it's food at all comedy stupid I mean he's I suppose the big guy's like guarding his water as well Damn it, you're supposed to break through the fence and kill everyone. Not just die of starvation. Just open the gate. No, okay. no T-Rex first. Alright. Yeah, but I feel like we're just going to wind up in a, a bigger version of this situation where the T-Rex is guarding the food and water. And they won't when the gate's open, trust me. <laughs> All carnivores have the prick gene. And will instantly just... gravitate doing <laughs> the prickiest things. I'm not going to eat the nearest easy meat that requires me to spend zero calories. I want to eat fat guy over there with the USA hat and bits of burger stuff to his face. Well, maybe they want to stock up on fat for the winter. Well, you know, nothing like tourists for that. Goats are probably a bit rangy. I didn't get my fireworks. Like, the fireworks they had at, like, was it Walgreens? Oh, no. They're kind of like just poppers and stuff that you can get in Australia. Yeah. Did you ever play Ride to Hell Retribution? That's equal be the uncertain me yes no hey is... it's time for sergeant bellend <laughs> isn't ride to hell retribution like notoriously terrible it certainly is there's okay. a colon between ride to hell and retribution well he's a there? very picky dinosaur so he's gonna get stressed very quick i just like the idea that the t-rexes all have anxiety disorder they're all really super self-conscious of other dinosaurs making fun of their stupid little hands yeah yeah. Enclosure isn't big enough for him. He's gonna get stressed, stressed, stressed. Oh, he's not getting on with the Ceratosaurus. Uh, like, look, just if you idiots could team up for like a second, you'd have quick, all the fat quick. people to eat. Dry, quick, take a picture. Is there a way to stop them fighting once they've started? No. Jesus. I guess you could send your Trank team out. I'm not healing the Ceratosaurus, I want the T-Rex to win. I mean, I'm assuming the T-Rex will win. You'd want to, but he's not. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know you're like two seconds old, Sergeant Belen. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this is healing him. <laughs> I can understand, like, oh, we've got to vaccinate the dinosaur. They got One of them's got mumps. All oh, right, yeah, better yeah. go shoot it with a dart. It's like, it's, get, it's, it's been bitten in the face. Uh, I'll give it an anti-face bite dart. There you go, have some healing bullets. Again, literally Overwatch. Dilophosaurus is like, I'm just playing this goes the distance. Oh, is the Dilophosaurus actually getting some water? Oh, look at him. Oh, now the T-Rex oh. is going to fuck with the Dilophosaurus. Or is the fight just over now? Well, yeah, he's still got the prick, Jane. No, they both decided just to pick on the smallest yeah. thing in the goddamn room. I think they've room. mutually gotten over their uh, disagreement, and they've 
shaken hands and agreed to be better people in future. And I think the T-Rex is going to sniff the Ceratosaurus's bum. Oh, they're friends now. Yeah, I call them Muffles and Scruffles. All right, well, that's the furries taken care of. I think, is he, like, getting ready to mount him or something? God, I hope so. You'd be able to sell tickets to, like, interspecies dino, dino burning, like... No, Big Rooster 83, the dinos never make a poo. See, again, like, that would be a part of the game to me, is, like, you gotta, okay, now you gotta clean the tanks for the oh, enclosures. Photo op. You have to add, like, you know, you gotta get those beetles that eat the poo. I won't need to lower the gates, Admiral Biotch, too. The T-Rex is stressed enough he's gonna go straight to smashing out a fence after this, I'm sure. Dilophosaurus is like, See, hey guys, what's your... Whoa, I came at the wrong moment. <laughs> oh, look, an actual event. Finishing a fight. Yeah. I mean, all right, like, yeah, it's repeated, but... I'm ranked zero, X zero, 0 I haven't played Operation Genesis. I am aware it is very, it's quite similar to this, except from 2003, and you don't have the going down to control the jeeps directly thing. Does it at least have more function? I don't know. Let us know, uh, yeah. Chad. Like, is Operation Genesis an actual game as opposed to... Yeah, he is eating the Ceratosaurus. Hey! Uh, not the tasty humans. Oh, he's eating the head! Nice. Oh no, it's just behind the fucking rest of the body. I thought it actually bit the head off. Well, it's a fun spectacle. Alright, well, this is going to be over in a second. Oh, for God. He's just going to kill everything and then before he kills the humans, hasn't he? Like I said, the prick gene. Uh, the Dilophosaurus got some spit in there. Could this be the thing that turns it all around? Why did they never think to genetically engineer, you know, a nice non-hostile trait into the dinosaurs? Yeah. I mean, you can do that. Maybe something like when you blow a certain whistle, it just dumps a bunch of like serotonin into their brains. Makes I mean, it, if makes you it look cuddly. at the uh, control room... Oh, okay. We need a research facility before I can show you that. Never mind, then. So you can't actually tinker with them? Where's he gone? Oh, there he goes. He's having awesome. Yes. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have built the strongest fence possible. Oh, well. He'll get through. T-Rex is on this. No, you were doing so well. There's so many tasty plebs. I like that it got in a half a fight with the Dilophosaurus, got spit on, was like, oh, look, fuck it, you know what, no, I'm not dealing with this. Rawr. Hey, thanks for the full, for the 150 bits, Loner Archon. Which activates a football giveaway on Twitch now, I don't know what that's about. The World Cup, I, I should imagine. Yeah, I was going to say, which football? Euro football or America football? Soccer. Ah. Uh, I don't know, I kind of do want to see the T-Rex knock a gate down, but so far he's been a little bit of a baby about it. Yeah, maybe we could help him along. I'm assuming if you try to ram the gate with your car, Oh, there happens. he goes. Oh, 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 hit oh. the same spot. No, no, he's just going to look over and smell it. Arrgh, arrgh. Oh, I gave the old noggin a flogging. Go on, my son. You can do it. You're not helping. Go away. Yeah, yeah, teach that fence who's boss. <laughs> Fence is your bitch. I'll take a photo for Atrocity Magazine. <laughs> I feel bad, but I'll probably have a subscription. Don't give up, you're doing so well. No, there aren't encouragement darts, Mesokogo. Yeah, just like a gentle speedball or two, you know. Nothing too hectic, just this, Aha! Uh... It's slightly broke. Oh, Jesus. Like, the kind of thing that would wake Jim Belushi up. Whoops. And there's a bit of power outage. Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You could just, just nothing happens. Come on, it's a disaster. Let's make the most of it. Yeah, we can just remove the wall, but that's kind of, like, not the point. Oh, oh, oh something hey. almost occurred. Oh, blimey. Not that it causes me any damage at all. No, 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 not that it means anything. Not that no. it means that it's wrecked one of your precious expensive Jeeps that you might not have even to repair. One of the cheapest things in the fucking game, Jeeps. Just buy another one, who cares? 
But I mean, all of these should be, you know, resources that you have to work to acquire, like... I don't know, maybe there's a hard mode or Yeah, something. well, uh, this is sandbox mode, so all this stuff had to be acquired in the story mode. Like the T-Rex and the strong fences. Come on, Bertha. Go on, nearly there. Electricity's down. Yes! Come on, you're a threat. You're a threat to the living. Okay. Come on, who's okay. Daddy's big boy? Okay. Fun. Yeah. Fun is about to happen. I'm amazed you actually could drive through the fence break there. Come on, fuck that. Fuck those plebs up. Ah! Although, do it in better lighting, if you would. Come on, right, yeah. work the yeah. camera. Uh, uh, camera uh, is your baby. I like how loads of them aren't even aware that. Oh, they're fucking legging it now. Ah. Yeah. They're not. Publish this, National Geographic. All right, not not going for the girl with the tank top. Oh, uh -huh. oh, 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 racist. Oh, oh. Yay! <laughs> like, Across if I were buying a magazine, fucking loves it. Yeah, I wouldn't be complaining about species repetition if one of those repetitions was biting a guy in the face. You know, the like, hilarious thing is that if the plebs get really panicky, they'll <laughs> run into the enclosure and get eaten by the other dinosaurs. <laughs> Why? Because they're panicking. Okay, but st still. I mean, sometimes... Hey, I'm going to turn around, lady. I oh, have. it's fall oh, over. Another one. More grist to the mill. Yeah, we've got the fall down animation. What do you think it's going to do, lady? I don't know, consider, oh, it, consider what it's doing. This atrocity magazine's a fucking gold mine. I do really want to see the Dilophosaurus get somebody. <coughs> and it was another black person. Crazy. It's, it's not. I told you, it's racist. Yeah. It's a racist You could probably dinosaur. do that, like, too. You could just make... You know, like, the, the, the dinosaur react to the scent Shoot of the uh, salad anemia. Oh, man. I'm going to get in the helicopter for the better view. Where's Where is the fucking Dilophosaurus? Where's my ECU? Hmm. There it is. Can, like, do any of these people, like, matter? Like, are they going to run anywhere and cluster up? Or are they just some sort of, you know, they no, really like a mold? Legging it into the wilderness. And I mean, I'd probably go in a building. Like, even the fucking, you know, fast food joint would probably well, I can't take photos from a chopper. That's, oh, that's weak. bullshit. Oh. All right, let's make this an exciting FPS now. <laughs> okay, dart the person with a tranquilizer dart so they don't feel it. Because if you could administer that sedative a bit faster, I'm sure that person would appreciate it. Oh, well. I do love how there's, like, maybe Come 20 on. meters between the rampaging T-Rex and, like, a few people just walking around normally like that. Go on, let's Metal Gear Solid this bitch. Oh, All right. donk. <laughs> anyone, anyone got the Fulton balloons? Yeah. <laughs> Are those real, those building? balloons? Or is that like a... Yeah, it's a, it's a real thing, but they don't operate the way Hideo Kojima thinks they operate. Well, uh, there's no surprises How there. the Fulton balloon is supposed to work is that you have a balloon on a very, very long rope, and the balloon goes high up into the air so the helicopter can spot it, and the helicopter sort of scoops up the line. Yeah, with like a... Scooping. And then, like, pulls the person up into the air and, like, winches them into the helicopter. You don't just attach someone to a balloon that makes them rocket into the sky. I mean, if not just for the... Like, I'll have everyone... Oh, that's fine now. Yeah? It's, a, it's asleep. Hi. Dart the excited guy. Why, why are you excited? Yeah, why are you excited, you weirdo? No, of course you can't dart the po population because they're a fungus. Oh, oh hey. yes! Hey, Dilophosaurus is on the prowl. Oh, man. I screwed this up. TV. Oh, Dad's going to take away my Jurassic Park. Well, the photos of the T-Rex eating people was getting stale. Let's see if things get any better with the... What's his name? Yeah, everyone just crowd around and watch what the Dilophosaurus is doing. Yeah, like they don't... Fun for all the family. The crowd awareness is just this tiny little bubble. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Uh, Everyone's fucked off. Boy, I bet you other humans wish you were in my super safety jeep. Yeah, that is somehow super yeah. safe. No one can get me through my roll cage. Do they just not take the Dilophosaurus as seriously as they take the T-Rex? Oh, hey. Oh, I got him in the, the face. It's doing the thing. Like, it is funny that you get such high-level rewards for taking photos of what should not be occurring in your park. Like, because you got a lot of money for that. And, like, yeah. granted... It's kind of, uh... You want to turn your lemons into lemonade, but I 
feel like if, you know, like if a tur... Oh, blimey, what's okay. going on there? I feel like if a tourist place was advertising, like, frequent pirate attacks... I feel like we should get a Dead Rising bonus for the nine corpses he created there. Did they die or did they slip over? I don't know. Well, maybe they're playing dead, as you would. Yeah. I mean, it's already attacking the dude with the white shoes, though. No, so. I, I think they all died. Somehow they all died. Of oh, something. Oh, lord. Maybe they drowned. Yeah, they, they, they touched the water and didn't realize this is a game without swimming. Like, let's plonk some... Just Let's just build some new dinosaurs. I want to see what some other things do. Like, okay, so... Granted, it's obvious that the... You know, carnivores will eat people. Do the you know? Can it, will an ankylosaurus like wallop someone with their tail? Good thinking. Let's find out. It better not just mill about. I mean, come on, man. You got like an armored boomy knocker as part of you. I do nothing but hit tourists. Right, I had I'm that. bored of these dinosaurs. Let's trank them and sell them. <laughs> yeah, just flog the T-Rex. We don't need it anymore. We've had our fun. Yeah, screw it. Sell it to a deranged celebrity. Who do you think would buy a pet T-Rex? All those people in the new Jurassic World film, I guess. It is funny to me, like, they treat the dinosaurs and the Velociraptors and shit like they'd be some amazing war tool. When, you know, no, they wouldn't, you could but... just shoot them. Yeah, like, Well, they were trying to breed bats in the Second World War to firebomb Japanese houses, but then, of course, they invented a nuke to do yeah, that Yeah, well, instead. I mean, because, like, again, that's not... You know, it was something that they, um, used to happen with the, the elephants. Like, elephants don't know the difference between a Persian and a Greek. Like, if you scare or style an elephant, it'll just go, like, rampaging in a, in a direction. And it's not always a direction you want. Uh, let's get a fucking massive big bran brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Cause, like, I don't think I, they say brontosaurus anymore. Yeah, because it wasn't the brontosaurus, like, not really a thing. I'm going to look that up, actually. I'm going to learn some dino facts. Okay, so here's what you can do. You can like add, you can add like uh, a turtle gene, so it doesn't, so it takes longer to age and die. But you can't add like a puppy gene to make them docile. Good lord, how boring! Give them a like. You, most you can do is give them a crow gene to give them the intuitive learning ability, which is exactly hmm. what you want your carnivorous dinosaurs to have. Brontosaurus, meaning thunder lizard, is a genus of gigantic quadruped sauropod dinosaurs. Although the type species B. excelsus had long been considered a species of the closely related Apatosaurus, more recent research has proposed that Brontosaurus is a genus separate from Apatosaurus that contains three species. This is what I was complaining about in my review. It's those scientists, they're always updating the dinosaurs. Can't we just have fun with dinosaurs for a while? Yeah. Apparently Brachiosauruses can live with carnivores. Who knew? According to MJ Manila, I guess they're just too big. I guess yeah, carnivores are aren't that hungry. I've seen a thing of tigers attacking like a giraffe once. Yeah, we've got no stars because we've got no dinosaurs presently. Everyone's just fucking off. We're gonna go to Disneyland next year instead. I love that it's not the murder that makes them live, but the absence of dinosaurs. Yeah, kind of weird. They deserve to die, really. Yeah, I think mean, we're all having fun getting killed and chased, but uh, then they all got tranked and sold. That go in the water? Yeah. Most of it's really shallow water, so most of them can just splash through it. I mean, like, are there sort of, you know, plesiosaurs and other weird hey, what happened sort to of that aquatic... Brachiosaurus, I told you. Oh, I guess I forgot to actually start it. All right, we've got an ankylosaurus. Awesome. Come back. Come back, everyone. We've got an ankylosaurus now. Waddles the Destructor. I guess we need a herbivore feeder now. Oh, look at that. He doesn't just eat grass. No. He d neither do they eat the trees. You literally need a feeder to feed them leaves from trees <sighs> that are other than the leaves that are on, like, that are on the, the trees Like, because the armor-plated ones, you know, this just seems like an awful lot of effort to get something that's not much better than a well-armed... Well, you have to create an artificial tree to feed Brachiosaurus. Oh, There's trees, you stupid dicks! <coughs> What the you know, I'm, strapping there? I'm thinking of like, okay, so you got an ankylosaurus, they're pretty well armoured, so maybe it'd be hard to shoot them. So I suppose, like, you could put supplies on them or ride them or have them go in first, but then you've got to convince something like that to want toward getting shot at. Damn it, his comfort's too high. 
And in order to do that, you got to put like a chip in his brain. And then I'm like, oh, you, you, you could just have a fucking tank or a car. Like none of this is more convenient. Be less comfortable. I'm just going to... I mean, maybe if they worked out a way of like, you know, giving me the leaping ability of a Velociraptor, that'd be kind of cool. Let's remove all the trees because he wants a little bit. How do you like that? Yeah, he needs a paddock. Uh, we scared some birds. Well, are they, are they dinosaur birds? Yeah, now we're in the red forest. And his comfort's starting to trickle down. So he'll be a danger to shipping any moment now. Any moment now. Any moment. <sighs> I feel like this is just an excuse to look at random dinosaurs. Like, the whole rest of the game is kind of just an accident. Yeah. Here's some dinosaurs. Look at them go. Are the people looking at him? I mean, granted, he's kind of boring, but he's wandering on the penis. Yeah, he's he's there. He walks the path of the penis. I do want to taste dinosaur meat. I think it'll taste a little bit like no, large but, bird. Like, I've eaten emu. Man, this guy was such an asshole in one of our previous missions. Why is he being so slow to get angry now? He just doesn't care. Baldurango, Jesus Christ, this is such a boring game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd agree uh, with that. So, don't buy it. There you go. This is the purpose of the post CP stream. Uh, uh, have you seen that YouTube video where it's playing that bit in Jurassic Park where the John Williams theme is like yeah no that's up. that's what I spoke about at the beginning it's 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 played on a melodica and it's done so yeah. unbelievably poorly and then just uh, just at the moment when the <laughs> bit kicks in it switches to what sounds like a you know a child's it's accordion like somebody's or playing a, t a live chicken it's just like they're an yeah. awful instrument to begin with and when played poorly they're amazing I mean if you haven't seen it like you probably are aware of it but if you haven't seen it absolutely just Jurassic Park Melodica go watch that it takes like less than a minute That's more twats please absolutely marvellous more twats please we're British yeah like if it was a looking at dinosaur sim but like again really educational like you could go here's how the plates folded over and what they're made of and you know, like, you could actually learn some shit. This is why I question the sandbox mode in this game. It's just not that much fun to just spawn dinosaurs and watch them fuck things up. Well, there's exactly nothing to do. When the other missions are goal-oriented, you build a park, you make sure it runs okay, and that's a challenge. That's something to do. I can understand sandbox mode if you used it kind of like training mode. Like, if there was enough detail that you could really sort of, okay, how do I put you know, enough oats into the burgers to get them exactly a really good balance between, you know, cost and, you know, profit and stuff. But there's just, there's none of that. There's, there's not remotely enough detail to the game to bother with any of this. Thanks the subscription, Alpha Beta. Yeah, the No Man's Sky version of that melodica thing was absolutely perfect too. Let's see if I can speed this up a bit by like making this enclosure drastically smaller. <laughs> just build a little a little mini fence around him There's something a friend of mine used to do with like sims fucking paths in the way now oh lord you can't build a fence on path come on nope come on be gone from here stupid path Blah, 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 yeah, like Jurassic Park Melodica blah, and then No blah, Man's blah, Sky blah. Melodica. It's just. The No Man's Sky was probably one of the best reappropriations of a meme I've seen in a long fucking time. Look <sighs> at my weird tail ass. He's so easy to please. I hate him for it. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, The Adventure Moose. There actually looks like there's less water in the little water hole. Uh, uh, probably an illusion. Perspective. Apparently this game's a lot easier than I thought. You can just pop them in there and give them a tree to piss on. <laughs> no, you can't unleash natural disasters, animes for life. At least I don't think so. Like, yeah. It's so easy to sit here and think of all the ways that other games would try to make this process interesting that this game just decides not to. Oh, can you get in one of the little balls? No, I haven't unlocked that presently. Fig Newtons. I can't imagine it being spectacularly exciting. Probably, yeah. I mean, 
One of the dinosaurs almost knocked your jeep over at one point. Yeah, that was a brief nanosecond of intrigue, wasn't it? Yeah, I almost completely woke up. This feels like a nap. Why does sandbox mode make you wait to spawn dinos? Asked Alan 2021. Good question. It is, yeah. Alan 2021. Is there, I mean, an, this is there point, an option we can tweak? Or just, at I this just... point, they might as well just give you like a paintbrush, like his MS Paint. Yeah. And just draw over them. Because there's no other... You know, you've got infinite money. So, what's the fucking point? I was asking about the terrain over there. Happily, there is. Let's, let's make it like ground boob. Let's make uh, a little yeah, I, was thinking, no, I was thinking exactly ground boobies, too. See how high this we can get. Yeah, I was, let's create a mighty mountain to spite the very shit. And that's as high as it gets. Really? That's lame. Yeah, not that high at all. A fat person. Can you make mountains under people while they're walking? Just to freak them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another one. <laughs> I call them Shiva's breasts. And there's Shiva's bush. All right. All right fuck shit up. <laughs> hey, you guys. What are you doing after this? I mean, this is probably. Aside from the occasional maulings, it's probably the most interesting this game gets is like the dramatic look at him yeah. emerge. Yeah, schizophrenic. I wondered why there wasn't like an aquatic and flying facilities or the stuff that actually... I swear there were... There are, that actually pr prominently appear in Jurassic World, the film. I swear that I saw like something to do with pterodons in there somewhere. Remember that bit in Jurassic World, the film, where they feed that secretary lady to the aquatic dinosaur and yeah, they that's... linger on it for a really weirdly... Uh, long time that's one of my favorite bits in that movie kind of freaked me out that it was like we don't even really know this no character. see and then, see normally okay you think about the lawyer in like original jurassic park yeah like most it's it's such an ugly trope in most movies where they got to kill someone at the start to make the dinosaurs or whatever it is dangerous so it can't you know I they know. usually want to make them someone that the audience doesn't like so they sort of just really and like a lot of romantic comedies will do the same thing where they sort of really lazily make the person a villain or just a jerk so it's okay that they got mauled yeah and then this time whether they fucking edited it out which is kind of what i suspect happened yeah me too i mean she kind of had this vibe of like yeah she's gonna be the bitchy bitchy nanny sort yeah of nanny, and she was uh, and because she was a little bit of a bitch she deserves to get eaten by the giant yeah, ocean monster yeah that's uh hollywood logic for yeah her. which and i i hate that i find that more offensive than just because you know when yeah. she actually gets killed it's horrible you're like oh jesus yeah they're really relishing it yeah she gets, because she kind of escapes, and then she gets kind of plucked apart by the birds, and then... And she gets dropped in the yeah, water tank, and, and the giant then thing gets her, and it's... Like, and that's, to me, that's more effective than the lazy fucking, oh, we're going to make her, oh, she's a bit of a bitch and doesn't Come like children. step on a child. Step on a child, you slow coach. I do feel like, like, because can't you just have him wandering around then, if, uh, you yeah, know, the game doesn't understand hills. If, um... I guess the plebs just run the fuck away if they see a loose dinosaur, whatever it is. So they can't, you know, go to, your, go to your facilities. And I mean, I, I call bollocks on that. There's no way morons wouldn't be trying to get near the big vegetarian ones. Yeah, they want to climb the tail and ride yeah. on its back. I mean, you could probably put at least six or seven kids on that thing before it would even notice. Yeah, mm. so all in all, the human plebs should have been way stupider. Or at least have the potential to be way stupider. I just wanted to kill one, like maybe to headbutt it or... Like, because I got chased by a cow one time, and you wouldn't normally think of that yeah, as being a cows thing. cows will fuck you up. Yeah, but you know, what More is it? More cows it's, kill people every year than, like, sharks or something. Yeah, because it's a big, you know, it's this big placid thing that eats grass, but like... Oh, so now you're fine with not being on paths. <laughs> All the other times it's like, oh, you got to have paths to walk on, but no, not now. Uh, I now think we've he, realized our priorities in life. I think he wants burgers. Well, wouldn't you? He's a herbivore, of course. Maybe he wants the salads. He'll find he'll find out their chicken salads and then he'll go into a rage. Cause like the romantic comedies always do that. Why do you put so much fucking dressing on them? Lazy villain thing where like the guy that the mother's interested in now is like just automatically really evil, like not child rapist evil, but just like evil, like comedy evil. Yeah, the so Mrs. It's Doubtfire okay. syndrome. Yeah, so it's okay that he, you know, that, he, that you're dressing up as a woman to sort of abduct your kids back. Actually, was he evil in that? I remember he was played by Piers Morgan. Not Piers Morgan, Piers Brosnan. Piers Brosnan, yeah. No, it was I always Piers get Brosnan. those two confused. 
I bet Piers Morgan would like that. He'd play the asshole in like a divorce film. No, being confused with Piers Brosnan. Oh, right. Well, in, in as much as their names are slightly similar. Yeah, but he strikes me as the kind of guy that derives like a lot of joy from small things like that. Fucking Can you ramp it? Can you get a jump? Jump the titties. That Brontosaurus is fucking boring. I hate him. Yeah. This was uh, Dinosaur Threat. Way. Okay, great. Where? I think it's the Velociraptor. Oh. Oh, here he is now. No, you can't ramp shit. Can't really get enough speed up. I guess we get a little bit of air time there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Velociraptor. I mean, look. Chow down. Yeah, if you, fall, if you fall over, you you know. Daddy, no! What should we call this photo? Daddy, no. We should give it like a pretentious name. We should call it um, Capitalism. <laughs> this is Capitalism, the photo. Thanks for, subscri thanks for subscribing and the link. Thanks for your capitalism. By the way, what, what just happened? Did he just vanish? I guess he just disappeared down the Velociraptor's gullet. The fuck? Because I looked away for like, uh, uh, I think it ate, ripped the head off and ate it. Okay, you gotta. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, this, we're perilously close to something Do interesting that again. occurring. They never fall, these assholes. People are like chips. They never get a full tummy and go to sleep. All right, so he's like, rip the throat out. All right. All right, he's looking around. Thanks for subscribing, Sangaret. Oh, fucking... Incidentally, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, the Twitch channel is where the chat is that we're paying attention to. So why not come over? You people on YouTube are second-class citizens, yes, and you we are. will treat you as such. Exactly. It's uh, twitch.tv slash escapist magazine <laughs> if you have any interest in that. It's always funny how like we remember to bring that up like an hour and 15 minutes into the stream. So well, I, I just bring it up whenever I remember. There. That's boring. Eat more heads. Eat a head again. Because you saw him flick something into the air and catch it in his mouth at that last one. I don't know if it was the head, but something at least interesting happened. Maybe it was a nose. A bit of gullet. I do like the Velociraptor noise. I feel like this photo shouldn't depreciate so much in value just because it's the same dinosaur. No. I mean, Jackass didn't depreciate in value because it's the same people getting hit in the nuts every time. Some people are just good to watch get hit in the balls. Um, there's, like a, there's like a Jackass knockoff from Australia called Children of Poseidon that I like 99%. Yeah, I always thought it was weird too, but it's like 99% brainless garbage that really only serves to make you appreciate how much effort Jackass put in. But, one of them has these amazing piggy squeals when he gets really hurt, and there's one where he jumps into a big pile of cactus. And, if you ever wanted to see a pig man get pins pulled out of him, I highly recommend it. Where's Mr. Death, the Velociraptor, gone? Let's go where the humans where the, are running away from. Where'd the fucking big... Grassy to go. I think he's just minding his own business. Yeah, he's, he's, oh, there he is. That's the thing. Like, I feel like those would act more or less, you know, because we have like fences around cows and shit, just so they don't get in traffic. But bear in mind, these animals were actually two foot tall and feathered. Again, cassowary is literally more dangerous. Yeah. All right, look. Well, lady. he knows how to pick them off, doesn't he? <laughs> uh. All this grass is getting in the way of my gore shots. I don't know. Rawr. Are you uh, sure it wasn't an optical illusion the last time we saw them eat him? There nose? was definitely a bit. I, I, I yeah, thought it was a head. It looked like a head. I thought I, I saw just... something as well. I don't know. One time only. I mean, I'd have tried to vary the murders as well. Because, again, I feel like this is actually the, the game at its most interesting, is watching people get mauled, but... The de you know, the developers obviously don't believe that. So, oh, there he is. Oh, he's just blending in with the fucking surroundings. Yeah, just having a laugh. He's trying to eat the helicopters. Yeah, why can't you just have them running around loose? <sighs> I guess maybe that it goes against the fire code. Yeah. You might lie down in front of the fire exits. Occupational health and safety, which I doubt is a big thing on Isla Nubla. Well, clearly not. I mean... The plebs don't seem to care. On the plus side, you just ramped the, the fucking truck, yeah. so that's pretty rad. Uh, Alright. Exciting music. What's something else that we can produce? Something meaty? Because I've given up on the idea of the Way. vegetarians. Oh, uh, oh. oh did, did you kill that guy with your vehicle? Nah, that was a An existing, existing corpse. corpse. Alright, let's remove the troublesome element. Let's sell a Brachiosaurus or whatever that was to somebody. 
Because I'd be okay with that. Like, your neighbor's got a brack. It'd probably be really good fertilizer. I mean, feeding it would be a bastard. Feeder needs resupply. Not really an issue. Lisa needs braces. Ah, you know, I'm kind of bored. Just hang on. Sandbox settings. Aha! Excellent. Oh, you can turn off escapes. If you just want to have a dinosaur park that just sits there. God, why would you do it? Heavy storms. Yeah, let's fuck this place up. Oh, citizens of Isla Nubla, we have brought you pain. Yes. This wasn't. This was never a theme park. We were just making a trap for fat white tourists. See what else you can breed. So I'm getting the feeling like they've all got fairly. What's Mysora? Mysora is he? Oh, okay, it's got the thing behind him. Vegetables, vegetables. Yeah, I tend to have more herbivores. Oh look, it's the headbutt one. Because most of the Hacky herbivores are just happily live together. No. Just stick them all in the same pen. I love it. Oh, what's that? Some kind look of that fuckheaded thing. Some kind of flamboyant homosexual dinosaur there. <laughs> there are so many things that are just other Triceratops. Yeah. Not really worth the bother. Oh, fuck them. Other Struthiomimus. Yeah. Other T Rex. Other Raptor. Isn't there the Gigantosaurus in here somewhere? Like, I'd assume it is. It was one of the main features of the third one. I'm guessing the Brachiosaurus is the biggest one. Well, that, no, like the. It was a thing. It was in Jurassic Park 3. Indominus Rex. No, no. The, the Indominus Rex was in Lost World. Jurassic World. Which is not Lost World. Lost World was Jurassic Park Jurassic 2. Park, yeah. I can't remember what Jurassic Park 3. But yeah, it's a Gigantosaurus. It's in Jurassic Park 3. And they oh, make a big deal just, of it eating the T Rex. Everyone's just gotten philosophical about the escaped raptor, it seems. Well, at least we could, you know, teach them that. A good perspective on life. Gigantosaurus. Nah, let's go to another island. Let's go to an unspoiled one. Yeah, there he is. Isla Pena. I haven't developed this one yet. It lived in Argentina. Well, well, well. So along with being a meat eater, it would have been very sexually aggressive. Okay, then. Lost World 2 is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That's yeah. getting out of hand, that business. Yeah, I heard that on the Red Letter Media review. It's basically just The Lost World again. But the Lost World at least had peep possel weight in it. Possel thwaite. Thwaite? Yes, possel thwaite. I like that he didn't die in that either. Didn't he? No. Hmm, funny. Yeah, he just got he just got to a point where he's like, well, I've done my bit. Toodle fucking oof. So I think the, the the rub of this park is that uh, Habit's not a name. It was basically just a research facility, and there's no like park stuff. It's already got fossil center, expedition center, and power station, and a breeding place. It just don't got no bloody gift shops. Utah Raptor, the dreaded savage Mormon. Well, I don't want to have, like, the place where the fun dinosaurs are to be this long a walk away from the entrance point. Do they have, like, Jeff Goldblum or a Jeff Goldblum impersonator? I've no idea. Sounds like Jeff Goldblum. I know they've got a Chris Pratt impersonator who occasionally comes on to say, Hello, I'm from the film. Uh, God, Chris, you lazy fat shit. You couldn't sit down for a minute and do some voice work. I think I'm going to put my... Everything needs Peter Stormare as a villain. He's a fantastic villain. Like the few moments he was on screen were the best bits of um, I Constantine. Like, I don't like doing this at night time. It's precious difficult to make things out as it is. When you're this high up in the sky. Hmm. Well, I could potentially build like a monorail. So the transport issue would, wouldn't be that bigger problem Jeff Goldblum's advice to stop playing this game is the best advice <laughs> yes I can't remember I think it was the Sega CD um, Jurassic Park game had like a hidden message from Ian Malcolm at the end of it and because it, you know we could put a video on here yeah the, the other thrust of this map is it's very elongated not much room to spread about 
Where's that? All right, there's a nice little observation area. Let's uh, put our Is dinosaur it? park here. That's the dryer that's making that. Is there noise, a chance the, the track will bend? Well, there's the, there's the token. There's the token Simpsons reference. I've only it. ever heard it pronounced as Stormare, so I was like, all right, Stormare. How would I know how to pronounce fucking weird Scandinavian names, you knob? Where's he from? Peter Stormare. I don't know. I think it's Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Yeah. Well, somewhere well, like Axe Whites. Okay. Swedish. There we go. Hmm. What are you up to, Fossil Center? Not a whole See, lot. I didn't think the Swedes did the sort of E to A thing. Ooh, we could or send that it would have like an... Let's send some expeditions out. What we does that do? Acquire more fossils for new dinosaurs. Yeah. What's in Australia? Uh, uh, giant uh, wombat. Do they even have an Australia? Oh, they do. Fuck all. Nothing, it's locked. Australia is sealed off to you. Gallimimus? Uh, Gallimimus and Velociraptors. We've already got those. What's the Gallimimus? Um, the Gallim... Gallimimus. Isn't it Gallimimus? It's not. That's, that's how they said it in Jurassic Park. Uh, we've got Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus is for babies. Oh, we could get like a fucking Ooh. fossil of Yahtzee. Let's get Polycanthus on the Isle of Wight. What does that do? I don't know. It's a new dinosaur. Fair enough. We've got the Tsintausaurus as well. I don't know, man. He was great in Big Lebowski. He'll cut off your Johnson. Right. Um, the game is staggeringly learn. dull. Yes, it is. Like this is not. I, I. I don't know who this game is for. Children, maybe. People who liked playing SimCity. It feels like a freemium mobile game, but with like the freemium bits pulled out, which is just well, confusing. There was city management stuff before there was freemium. I don't well, know, but I mean, because there's, when I say freemium, because it's got that freemium level of depth. Yeah. You plonk down a thing that does X and that's it. This is like theme park, but without the nuance. Yeah, like that's, you know, a freemium mobile Incidentally, game. Incidentally, great, uh, great original titling there, theme park. Yeah. Must have taken a while to think of that one. Yes, I've been on the whole stream. Who made theme park? I've been here for it? months, actually. You guys just haven't been listening. If you... Tune your ears to a certain frequency, you can... Yes. Gabriel turns into Peppo when the moon is full. Yeah. I, <sighs> I ran over an old gypsy lady's dog and then got out and spat on her and made fun of her for having a dog and then... What are we doing? She... Uh, I guess we'll... Build threw a magic hat at me finish and... Finish this enclosure off. Now, Yahtzee's the only one who can understand me when I'm in my dog form. Yes. It's mostly feed me chocolate drops. Yeah. Not allowed to have chocolate though. All right, we've got doglet. So the dogs can eat. That's what what is the active bit in the chocolate that's bad for the dogs? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, caffeine. Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose. Are you sure? I mean, I'm assuming then you can't give. I know caffeine's bad for them, but I'm not sure that's the only reason. Can we stop having a conversation with someone who's not on the mic that no one else can hear? I'll watch it anyway, won't you? you okay, there's one drones. millimeter we can. Uh... No, I haven't got any explosives. I could probably find a like. I feel like maybe if I got a bunch of sparklers and some soda bulbs, I could make some good old-fashioned suburban Australian dynamite. I also fear that I might get in trouble for doing that. Oh come on! Come on, we'll get this in the end. Just tap it like, click it like crazy. Oi! Um, Touch okay. and go. Now we've got attractions. Chocolate gives dogs severe diarrhea. Yeah, but what part of the chocolate? Because there's dogs theobromine. Okay, there we go. There's lots in chocolate and it becomes toxic. Alright. Uh, something's missing power. I'm not sure what it could be. Ah, oh, it's probably these. You know what, I'll just demolish all of that. Destroy Hammond. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't done one where they clone Hammond. Kind of fuse him into a dinosaur. Well, we'd have to get Richard Attenborough to play him again. 
Well, no, you could just like stretch his face over a dinosaur model. Yeah. That you would... remember those early glitches in original 360 Red Dead Redemption? Hey, play? a four star amber of the Polycanthus. Oh, that's Which just is... an ankylosaurus with a different haircut. Cheap. Extract the DNA. What's in the poo? I think you just sell the poo. Uh. Yeah, nothing to extract. Oh, and some platinum. Ooh. Oh, uh, it's the thing with the stupid head. Hey, we found the thing with the stupid head. Oh, another dumb head. David Attenborough couldn't play him, sweet potato. David Attenborough and Richard Attenborough are very different people, despite their close relation. They're both being Attenboroughs. Richard Attenborough is very distinctive. He's, really, yeah. He's egg-shaped and bearded and uh, cries a lot. He was notorious for weeping. I'd like award ceremonies and stuff. Huh, I Gets very that. emotional about his art. There's old Dicky Attenborough. In fact, I used to read, like, uh, used to have, like, a Monty Python script book. And they, uh, there was a scene where a character w was getting emotional for whatever reason. And in the, like, uh, production notes, they refer to it as doing a Dicky Attenborough. <laughs> right, well, the guests are going to want a gift shop right at the entrance, obviously. I like how you have to put guest shit at the research site. Yeah, you got to make money somehow. Uh, I, mean, I, the, suppose. I mean, even right from the start, Jurassic Park was intended as a theme park. Mm. I mean, what's the point of having this sort of thing if you don't, people don't come to see it, I suppose? I think it's a matter of just accepting the fact that everybody would want to come and look at the goddamn dinosaurs. Fair I mean, enough. I would. I don't know how I'd afford, like, a two-day vacation on an island, but I'd be like, okay, I, I do have to do that. Like, you gotta go look at the fucking dinosaurs. Well, you know what helps pay for holidays? Mm. Getting married. <laughs> Suddenly you'll acquire a lot of resources to go on holiday if, some, if the people know you're getting married. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming resources is the pet name you've come up with for your little lady. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right, resources? <laughs> He's gone quiet. <laughs> yeah. I know that quiet. That's the Gabe's in trouble quiet. <laughs> oh, we've got a mission from the security man. <laughs> Alright, we might have. Well, it turns out the chat all knew anyway. Yeah, Alright, fine. Secret's out. We got married. Gabriel was here for the wedding. It was lovely. You should have been. It was lovely. Are you serious? You're finally going to talk about this in the one stream I wasn't on. You have any oh. idea how hard it is not to talk about the thing taking over your life? All right, fine. Stand there and tell us about our lovely wedding. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. All right. We'll pick it up after the honeymoon. <laughs> Which is why you're not getting streams for the next three streams, incidentally. Although, I guess we're back next Friday. I feel it's something that you've addressed, but like just haven't directly said. So yeah. people have just managed to... Well, you know what the internet's like. Well, I mean, it's not like... I mean, because my presence would probably be at least a chunk of the giveaway for the you know sort of last hangers-on. Because it's like, what am I going to travel over here for just to look at you for fun? Like, Well, you've done the tourist stuff. We went uh, on that cruise around the bay, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that was rad. Yeah, I got to like tour around. I got a little sunburn, but it's okay. The sun here is like not as savagely cancerous as the sun back home. That's big as hell. I got bloody burnt like crazy. <laughs> My face is still pink. Uh, I'm a little pink, but I'm not like peely and hurty. I want a chungus. Chungus! I can't remember if... <laughs> chungus. Nice I could check the... Is the stupid head one there? Hmm? The stupid head one. Do we, no, have we, that haven't, yet? we haven't finished them yet. Oh, figs. I guess we could search some more fossils. Yeah, and now Pepper's got his squeaky thing. Yes, this apartment's getting bloody crowded. Yeah, me and the dog sleep on a pile in the corner. He's, he's liking that squeaky thing a lot more since he got it out of the thing it used to be in. Doggy loves his screams. Yeah, this is Galamima, so why the hell not? Uh, 
He's an excitable little bugger. He's a good dog. I like Papa. Yeah, he's a fun. He's very friendly, although a little bit vocal for our liking. <laughs> he's honestly, he's not like. Because when you a... said there was like some, terror, there was a Jack Russell in him. I was like, oh, he's a barky boy. He's yeah. a bit of a bar he's a bit of a barky boy. Hey, thanks for the uh, five hundred bits, Tetanus Frisbee. What do bits do? Uh, I think they cost like a penny each. Am I right in saying that? So does someone giving you 500 bits give you a penny? No, it's like five bucks. Oh, so like a bit is a penny. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. It's to, it's to cheer us on. It's to show the, uh, the appreciation for the stream, I guess. Can you spend that at stores? Um... I want to use my bits. I've never extracted... Is that, is that a crypto that, that I've heard so much about? I uh, don't think so. Uh. Hoosko says, Gabe, don't pretend you don't have a channel. Well, he doesn't seem to give much of a shit about it, Hoosko. Mm, no. This is his pattern. He, like, slips into other people's streams until they let him stay. You asked me. I, I'm, Aaron asked I'm me. I'm having fun with you. How dare you be mean? I'm just making a point that you're never the one to organize the stream. No. Well, it's it's not... I don't know. It just seems a little bit odd to me. I can't imagine anybody wanting to listen to me. It's probably my Well, they do, problem. so you might as well profit. That's my attitude. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I mean, I do take a lot of... A few, well, not a lot, but definitely a few of the things that you've said to heart. You've got to value yourself. Remember, when I, remember the last thing I said to you before I left Brisbane? I don't think I was listening. Apparently not. I said, find something to be passionate about. All right. Yeah, I struggle with that. I mean, I do enjoy working out, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that exactly. You could uh, join the Olympics. Olympics is like, yeah, but that's, that's the problem. Like, Come a weightlifter you know, and then get your elbows to go backwards at, I don't on, do on that. Like, show day. I don't know if I want to be a humongoid. Like that's the problem. Is like if you want to do Olympic weightlifting, you're effectively going. I would like to be exactly the shape of Wario, All but right. like made out of impossibly dense muscle. Uh, yes, I've checked out New Japan Pro Wrestling. I have a subscription to their service. I am a big fan. This name is also taken. Says the point gave is to get swole, but then how does one profit? Get swole? Question mark. Profit is the conundrum. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I mean, I probably enjoy martial arts a little bit more, but I haven't been able to do much of that. Cause of oh, hey, the Tintasaurus is viable. Oh, hell yeah. Let's let's viable it up. Does that thing get Wi-Fi? I mean, what is that for? Because it's got to do something. What thing? The little head nodule. Oh, the head thing. I don't know. It's probably too DDT is good, too. I don't have a subscription to DDT, although I'm thinking of changing that. Thanks for subscribing, CW Craft. Maybe it's like um, to attract a mate. Or maybe it's just his nose. Yeah. Maybe he keeps his nose there. In case he needs to insert it into something that he really wants to sniff. Um, no, I've done 13 years of uh, Taekwondo. I've done... Uh, still doing um, Tong Long Kung Fu. And I do a couple of as well on the side to lose weight. But I haven't been able to do either of those for the past two years because I busted my shoulder and my hip. So we've got a mission to like fill up the Parasaurophilus genome. I think you can only get that here. Why does America get all the digs? Oh, hang on, there's it right there. I suppose because there's like people there to do it. But how, how are there Parasaurophilus in the USA and China? How could that be so? My God, the world is flat. Maybe the once the world was like folded over like a book. <laughs> And it got unfolded when the God sandwich. spread his arms wide. The sandwich earth theory. Oh, well, this is like, I actually, I had surgery about three weeks ago for my hip because I had a bone growth and a torn labrum. Missed leg day too often. Which, yeah, which took a long time to diagnose. But hopefully in about three months I should be, um... Back to being able to kick properly again, which is great. I love going. I do enjoy capoeira because unlike every other martial art, it's mostly it's mostly really attractive. Going back to the Isle of Wight, they got nice tea shops. Is there, isn't nice capoeira that one that you sort of break dance yeah. while doing? Yeah. I could not picture you doing that. Oh, I can. You don't strike me as a flexible sort. I did taekwondo. I can do the splits. I've yeah. shown you that. 
I mean, I can't do it now, obviously, because I had hip surgery, but like, prior to, you've seen me do this. Well, you just sort of lumber around slowly most of the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a hefty unit, but I'm surprisingly, it's, okay. <coughs> I can I can quick roll, not fatty roll, but it does use my entire stamina bar. Well, I have like you've one, done. and then I go. Ugh. So you can't do capoeira for very long. Then. No, it's, like, it is brutal. Like it is really tough exercise. Capoeira, like a cheetah sprinting. Yeah, kind of. But like that's the point is I want to because there was a period a couple of years back, uh, probably about five now, where I was able to do it more regularly. I'm gonna start another Tintasaurus because I'm willing to bet it's gonna need more than one of its type around. Well, yeah, it needs to be able to touch head lumps. Yeah. No, I'm not enjoying this game much, Gun 39610. But it gives us something nice and bland to talk over, like the classic days of Drown Out. It is, yeah. Look, Like an unattended some, child in a bath, eminently drownable. It's some green stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, I know my facility rating's <laughs> low. We're, We're research, money. damn it. We don't have any dinosaurs yet. They'll come pouring in once we have those. Um, I've done a little Krav Maga, actually. All righty. That's the Israeli one. Yeah. I did learn a few really fun chokes in that one. I bet you did. I like the one where you hang yourself off a door and have a wank. <laughs> that's, yeah. That, that's the ultimate self-defense technique, because if you're walking on someone doing that... You yeah, they immediately leave. Just, yep. <laughs> I'm not... Well, we can't... I'm create not doing this. a prehistoric fish? Maybe I want to create a prehistoric fish game. Yeah, I want one of the giant sea monsters. Because I'm a sucker for those. Like, there's a movie coming out called Meg, which is about a megalodon, which is effectively like a building-sized shark. And that is dumb as fuck. And it has St Jason Statham yeah, in it, which that's you know is dumb as fuck, but oh, I want to see it. That's a funky one, that megalodon, because it is literally just a shark that got scaled up. Yeah. It looks and exactly like a great white. I it's just they grabbed the Photoshop bounding box and just... Pulled yeah. it until eh. it was the size of a truck. Can like eat a whole boat. Like you do need a bigger boat. All right, let's see. Let's see what you look like. Yeah, I did Sistema as well. At but night, like, Sistema is hard to find a really good instructor. Like Melbourne, I was kind of lucky, but like Brisbane just doesn't really have the sort of breadth of skill. All right, air out your weird pork chop head. Okay, what's that thing called? Because I need to know if its little noggin lump does something. I think this was the Tsintausaurus. Tsintausaurus, alright. Oh, like oh, it needs... Is, yeah, it needs a lot more of its kind. Oh, it looks needs friends. It. Uh, it needs more forest. Okay. I can forest it up for mm, you. So, yeah, yeah, look, just... Alright, so the thing in its head is a bone. It's not just like a bit of... Oh, almost forgot we need to feed the thing. Too. <laughs> How embarrassing. Yeah, more Tinsarosaurus. Just churn them out. 40 centimeters long crest protruding almost vertically from the top of the rear snout. Did the lady Tinsarosaurus look down on you if you didn't have a, at least 30 centimeters up top? The structure is hollow and seems to have a forked upper end. Comparable structures with related species are unknown. You should too. Uh, hmm. Clover Vibe says, I just finished Differently Morphous. I think it's your best book yet. My new favourite after Mogworld. Well, everyone else had better check it out then. Bye, 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 bye. Buy my books. They're good. Grudgingly, books. Quickly, grudgingly agree. Yeah. Hmm? What are my books? What are you even doing here? How did you wander into this room? Do your parents know you're on the internet? Uh. Uh, I think so. I'm in a sinky part of the couch. They persist in sending emails. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the people who didn't know you wrote books. Oh. I feel like that would be a pretty... It's still just an audiobook, Sample 1, 2, 3. Every BJJ person just says BJJ, bro, BJJ. If you want the print version of Differently Morphous, the people to nag are Dark Horse, because they have the rights and they're working on it. They've uh, penciled it in for next year. But maybe you can speed them up a bit if you nag their little hearts out. Tell your friends. Get nagging. Don't just tell them. Scream it in their stupid faces. Yeah. Kill their pets. <laughs> For Mog World, written in blood. Different amorphous. You don't want Mog World to get another uptick? 
Just just kill your pets. Well, they're fine with that. They just, sure and then... Well, they just did a new edition of Mogworld in a yeah, larger yeah, there you format. Go. If you've already got the first one, get the second one. Oh, eat my ass. <laughs> what happened? Uh, incubation failed. It was still Oh, I didn't born. even know that was a thing. Bloody stillbirth. You're not funny anymore, stillbirth. <laughs> That's really only funny the first time. All right. Yeah, they need a, they need a ton of friends. They need like four oh, or five. God, what a bunch of babies. I know, right? Literally, they're like seconds old. Yeah, I got like the, the weird visa thing that I can get on the internet that just means they won't. I mean, I could probably get away with wandering around here anyway. That's half of what Australia is like. Australia is mostly like illegal immigrant problem is like Irish should overstay their visas. Yes, Pluvius. Dark Horse have published all the print versions of my books. The audiobooks are done by Audible. I could stay here. I'll steal someone's identity. I think Dark Horse originally had the audiobook rights, but they cut them back to me when they realized they couldn't be asked to produce them. <laughs> I'll get a job at one of your scary inner city schools. Mm. I'll teach different ethnicities to act white. It'll be great. I'll make a movie out of me one day. I want to be played by Gina Davis. Okay. We share the same smile. I'll take your word for it. The same almost baboonish glint of threat. Massive canines. More tea shop. More pa Palosaur offer list. Sounds like a Greek philosopher. Yeah, it does a bit. He was locked in a cave too, but all he did was jack off and scream. <coughs> oh. Apparently I can get some easy points if I build a research centre. Ooh. Sure, why not? What's Shadows Die Twice? That's the new game by From Software. They got announced at E3. Yeah, oh, I didn't really watch a lot of E3, if I didn't know what was going on. Have you looked at it? What is it? Yeah, look, it's like a samurai hack and slash game. I I thought so it would Neo. be Dark Soulsy, but people are saying it's not going to be so Dark Soulsy. I do feel like it would be good for them to get away from that format for a little bit at least. Well, they didn't always make Dark Souls. They made like the. Um... They have something weird on their list. Yeah, what's which... that mech game they make? Yeah. Oh, is that the one where the president was in it? Because that's getting... No. Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah, Metal Wolf Chaos. It's getting oh, re-released by a a Devolver Digital, yeah. I believe. It's getting a Western release. How are my Tintasaurus doing? Still kind of stressed out. <laughs> we need more friends. <laughs> Weird losers in their head knobs. Yeah, he's down to 52, Jesus. God, well, you know, we can only breed your friends... So quickly, like yeah, discard that aborted fetus. Yeah, I'd like come back so to so many others. Was, yeah, I mean, California reminds me a lot of home. Armored Core was a mech game. Thank you, Sigvard. All ah, right, yeah, and like twelve other people. <sighs> Do we have like a helipad? Because we're gonna need that. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Guess not. You should get the audiobook from Audible of Differently Morphous. Yes, you should. Someone just said it was their favourite Yahtzee book. Well, they have good taste, for it is my latest one. You can only improve. It's my first book that's not in the f written from a first-person perspective. Hmm. Was that a hard shift? Uh, How do you blend kinda. authorial voice with a uh, different protagonist voice? Do you well, get you go into their heads a lot, I find. Get your free and direct discourse going. I don't know, I just... You know, trying to... Use the word I a lot less. I always find that helps. Mm -hmm. line, I couldn't have done it any better. Oh, I... One points for... That research station I built. Hooray, sell the poo. And the... And the frodium. Oh, I DM. don't know what that is. Oh, did England win against Colombia? Good for them. Boars, cows. I've like, I've had to back away from kangaroos and emus. Like that was at the zoo. Yes, get out of there! Fuck's sake, make people de-stressed. One of them failed again. Oh, let's touch head knobs. 
Like that that 200, hatching bay is... Each one of these cost me 200 grand. Jesus. That's probably because there's only 50% viability. Oh. He's going to go in the red soon. Lucky I built the very strong fences. You've got chums, for God's sake. I Look. need more chums. Oh, God. More chums. What are you trying to do? Organize some fucking sports? Oh, yeah, he's pissed off. <laughs> Lonely! Well, at least the plebs are here. Yeah, not great dinosaur variety right now, I'm afraid. Come back in a month. <laughs> I don't know, like, look, his head knob things, they you know. They're pretty cool. Yeah, you don't need variety when you have a delicious array of knobs. Just uh, take that out of context. Yeah, no, nobody clip that. I, know, I, I don't want people making fun of me on the social medias. I'm still working on my sequel to We'll Save the Galaxy for Food, incidentally. I'm getting towards the end game bit. I'm just trying to figure out the bits and pieces of how it's gonna does he get his off. food yes he gets food hey that's the important part food that's yeah, a yeah, Chekhov's gun I like to see fired profit at last hurrah oh is this comfort going up no it isn't uh, more friends please I didn't really plan out my books. I'm just writing the final battle at this point, waiting till the pieces fall into place. He just I'm screams like, oh, at his phone and Siri does all the rest. This character should die at this point. That makes sense. No, 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 no. We'll save the galaxy for upsized fries. I still haven't quite decided on a title for the new one. Maybe, like, we'll destroy the galaxy for food. Yeah. We'll destroy the galaxy for cash. That guy's giving it away for free. <sighs> so how many more games does England need to win? Why is VR Banana's desk moist and warm? I bet your desk is a giant banana leaf and you're in the jungle. You should look above you. There is a, a sloth drooling slowly onto what, your workspace. What are you on about? I'm interacting with the stream chat. Alright, well, I wouldn't call it that. I would. Wreck yeah, I'm working on some games. Victorian clam bake. You may be seeing one soon. They will dazzle the eyes and astound the mind. Yahtzee made me play one when I was really sleepy and it fucked me up. <laughs> Like jet lag. It's like, come look at this. It's like, ah, ha, ha. Imagine if like a kaleidoscope could also shout at you and judge you. Well, you know, people like a fast pace. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 I said, first thing I said was people will like this, but it's like the worst thing to be exposed to when you're kind of still sort of confused about what time and day it is. Yes. It's a game specifically designed that it kind of, Confuses you and overloads you at first, and you gradually have to figure out what it's Holy about. Holy crap, yeah. And it also starts with an H and ends with a two. Somebody's getting fucked. Fucked, 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 fucked. Somebody's getting fucked. Yeah, all right. Yeah, like, dinosaurs are freaking out, I'm afraid. You can't judge Penis Island. It's where the research happens. Quickly, quickly, get out there. It's like a bunch of tourists stumbling into a library and going, Ah, where's the roller coaster? Hello? Does anyone else out here have head knobs? Head knobs for everyone. <laughs> Do I have a range of things? It's like an entire table either. of weird dorks with the same face mole. Uh, sure, I can do that. I mean, I certainly wasn't about to do it anyway. Yeah. Don't tell me how to run my park. Just security. It's just too much to ask that it fit here, I suppose. Oop. More dinosaurs to release. You're feeling That's better That's gotta now. be enough, like... Oh, yeah. 
Uh, going back up now. Are they gonna like actually spend time together and do whatever, or are they just gonna all yeah, sit on the gonna opposite gonna sides of the? Hang around being social. Maybe that's like a mood lump, and it changes color. From an A spore game where all the creatures were dick monsters. That's pretty much the only surviving spore games. All right. Entire dick universes. We have a functioning park. The dinosaurs are happy. The plebs are looking at them. Our variety rating is for shit. Yeah. Sorry we had to give this goddamn loser a bunch of friends. Boo, ranger station. Ah, there's a spot. Is there like a dinosaur that's a bit like Yogi Bear? You know, no, he's smarter than your mammal, average dinosaur it? and he kind of... He steals... Steals burgers and stuff. Well, something we could make into a mascot. Yeah. No, there isn't. Gary the Headlump. This is as interesting as the dinosaurs get. <laughs> Fuck it. They're just looking at each other. Yeah. So they're socializing. That's what's important. They're discussing the big game. <laughs> Talking about England and Colombia. We need another power station, I feel. I think No Man's Sky is still, sky is still going. Apparently no it's had a lot of updates. No, no Man's Sky is right. <laughs> no Man's Why, No Man's Lie. No Man's Buy. Insert favorite joke here. What happened to the guy that made that? Like, has he just vanished off the face of the earth? Uh, I don't know. He's probably got a cushy job somewhere else. Because that's today's society. We just reward failure all over the place. Why can't I get in on that? Failure and antisocial behavior. That's like me to a T. Yeah, power's a bit low. We need another power station. VR Subnautica was kind of fun. I saw one of the big scary monsters. Yeah, I played through Subnautica. It's a good game. And it would probably be more fun in VR as well. It's not exactly like perfectly designed for it. Like some of it's a little bit you know finicky. What, you know what I like about Subnautica? It's a. Uh, survival crafty base building game that actually has a plot and an end state and also it's not a randomly generated map i nothing switches my brain off faster these days more than procedurally generated. i feel like people are always shooting for the procedural generation these days just because it's easier yeah than creating like a curated no, you experience a th yeah you click a thing and you go, if you go and procedure it do more thinking yeah. indie game developers more hollow knights let the algorithm more subnauticas less less bloody roguelikes Dead Cells bummed me out because it had fucking roguelikes. There have been good roguelikes, but it's over now, all right? We're over it. Stop it. No, I'm not. What I mean is, <laughs> your roguelike needs to have some kind of interesting, unique selling point or thrust. View. Not just bloody dungeon crawlers again. We've done the random dungeon crawling. Because none of it's fucking random, really. It's just like, oh, you know, it just it falls into a basic goddamn pattern and comes yeah, boring basically. shit. The procedural design is just too visible. Various copies of the same things, but in different positions now. Crimson Furious Glenn is attacking you. Of course he is. He's jealous of my sweet style. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? Fossils. We need we need more dinos. Oh, look at that fella. More, that's right, that's the Ankylosaurus with a different hair. More polycanthal, whatever it is. Finish off that Paris of a thingy. Just, what's still missing power? Nothing, everything's fine. Stop lying to me. Oh, that. What's that? Oh, there's been a oh, there's a power outage. Well, what dinosaurs fix power outages? None of them do, you cheeky scamp. What's the point of injecting crow DNA into dinosaur brains if none of them can come around and fix my internet? Uh oh, there's a storm warning. Better build uh, an emergency shelter. 
quick smart. Yeah, if you could build that before everyone dies, that'd you be great. Lucky bastard. Stay hydrated, bot. Says you've been live for just over two hours. By this point, by your in your broadcast, you should have consumed at least eight ounces of water to maintain optimum hydration. Ah, figs. My big bar box of poverty water is over in the corner. Is that a new Twitch bot? Um, yes, actually, if that's not... I guess there's a new Twitch bot that tells you to stay hydrated. You should stay hydrated, it's important. Thanks, Twitch. Thank you. Yeah, the water bottles here are crazy, because in Australia, like, they sort of... They don't really sell them, like, this much. Like, there's a one gallon... Oh yeah, three three point seven liters, and it's kind of like it's. I mean, I understand why it doesn't get sold much because it's an awkward as fuck shape. Like you're not fitting this in the door of a fridge. I'll bugger the storms, the damage and stuff. Ah. Uh. Right now, open the shelter. Oh, and the storm's over now. Fucking hell! <laughs> Close the shelter. Close it. We're already back to fucking work. Well, we'll be prepared if there's another one. I promise you that. Yeah, I have a two litre water bottle at home and I just sort of make sure I chug every couple of hours. <sighs> I just forget and desiccate because I'm a goddamn idiot. Ooh, water. Yeah. yeah, and while you're at it. <laughs> bot stuff, bot. Don't forget to let the plug out at the end of the day. <sighs> um, I don't know. I mean, I need to. I need to see more of America before I could judge America. I mean, I enjoy yeah, you California. Can't, you can't judge America by California. California is a little chunk of liberal Europe. I've never had a place that smells so much like urine and weed but like never exactly the same mix at once yeah you saw a sort lot of, of drifts homelesses. yeah i mean it's 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 sort of interesting because in in brisbane the bums all cluster into like effectively bumville whereas i haven't really seen that here although i have been told that there are like effectively whole shanty towns of them which is nuts yeah if you go if you look under the highways in oakland yeah because in australia they just sort of I don't know why, but they all go to the valley, at least in Brisbane, just to hang out. But, like, a lot of them have, like, homes. It's just, I don't know, they don't really have anything to do, so they just sort of loiter in there. And Sometimes they ask for money, but, like, not a lot, honestly. Like, you know, they just sort of occupy space, I suppose. Although, you know, they built a big pile of rich oh. people housing just nearby. Someone's got the lurgy. God. So I'm guessing they're going to hose my way soon. So they've I been need, like... I need to research the lurgy. It's weird for me to like look down a street in like a really busy city center area. Like when I went to um, the museum. So I was in kind of like the, you know, smack dab in the middle of San Francisco. And just see all these normal people and then one like just sort of deranged bum with like half a cardboard bed. Just sort of looking through me and shouting. And I was just like, oh, look at that. Lots of bums. We, you, we've had some fun bum experiences on the trams. Fun some, bums. Um, some fun busker experiences. You had the same experience I had last time I took the tram to San Francisco. Some, like, dudes got on after the last Oakland station. Did a hip-hop contortionist act did for little, one trip. Did a little dance routine. See, I actually thought that was really fucking cool. I went around with a bag for Because the shit that happens to me on trains is not usually an organized fucking interesting act. I very much doubt they had the sanction of any official authority. Oh, Lord, no. But again, you know, I mean, again, like the awful things I've had to see on trains. So like for me, it's get on, it's like, oh, what's that? It's music. Oh, look at that. And, you know, they don't seem to have shoulders or elbows, which was really impressive. And they do these things where they hold on to the, you know, the bars and they do all this kind of stuff. And I gave them three bucks because I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty yeah. sweet. Whatevs, anything to pass the time on a long tram ride? I feel like maybe if you made one of those garbage islands and just said to the bums, it's yours, and let them, you know, strike out, I feel carve like that their would, own way. It's like very American. Would, I feel like that would turn into Battle Royale very quickly. Uh, yeah. You'd encourage it, air drop a few guns down. 
Maybe not guns. Maybe those like squishy mallet things they had on gladiators. You know, where each end's kind of a different boomy knocker. Well, someone could just slap it over their knee and stab someone with the sharp end. Ah, uh, that's. Why is the Tintasaurus low on health? I don't know, just dart the prick. Now, why would I want to do that, Entertainment Division? Why would I want to encourage my dinosaurs to fight in Dinosaur Thunderdome when I'm trying to create more dinosaurs to attract more of the population to look at them? The other thing is just sort of like the way the city is organized. Piss you off, know. Entertainment Man. Just hearing that like the trains don't go through certain places because the people who live there were like, ah, oh, no. You can't see that. I can't see the fucking trees either. There it is. Uh, can you zoom in any closer? I don't know. I'd watch a garbage island covered in bombs wail on okay. each other with squishy... Rage Team 1, heal that poor sick dinosaur, you monster. Boy, it's lucky I put it right next to the gate. I mean, you know, a lot of it here is the same as it is in Australia. Although I did see a thing in, on, like, homelessness. I think it was during the most recent financial crisis where they were talking to a guy and I was thinking to myself, oh, that guy's weirdly coherent for a bum. And then it's, it turns out that he's, like, a trained electrician and has, like, an engineering degree or something. And it's like, oh, that's weird. Let's make a policy. Because in Australia, they're all, like, deranged drug addicts and, you know, mental illness types. Let's make two polycanses. Yes, Nemesis 8811, this game is kind of dull. This game is balls, I... Yeah, we'll pack it in in a bit. And then go hydrate, I guess. Testy calls. Yeah. I don't know about hydration, but I do need a piss. I'm gonna suck down the last of my Ice Canyon Natural Spring Bucket. I mean, the weather's uh, very similar. Like, that's one thing I've sort of... Wasn't a big good. adjustment. There's a certain clarity to the California sun that uh, reminds me of a it's sort a, of a spring or autumn in Brisbane. It's the dry heat. Yeah, that's the best part. Australia, is, like Brisbane, is fucking terrible in the summer because the humidity is just around you always. Yep, just basically never go out. It's like sort of living in the middle of a ghost. Just this oh warm, shit! All oh, my money's presence. gone. Probably uh, buff yeah. ordering those two. Do not even have the money for a down payment for a house, and you're trying to run a dinosaur facility. Well, it'll all come back eventually. Slowly. What sort of income am I making? Oh, <laughs> not a whole lot. If I'm honest, we need more dinosaurs. Hello, I'm Cabot Finch, and I was named by an algorithm. Well, I hope these dinosaurs turn the profit around, because otherwise we're fucked. Yeah, come look at the head knobs, and we've got like a flat looking thing showing up soon. Tommy Wells says, Gabe needs hydration, Yards needs a piss. I see a meeting of needs here. I'm not falling for that again. Fabezzi wants to know what we feel about Red Dead 2. Uh, is it out? No. Well, fuck, I don't know. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. I don't know. I'm yeah. getting, I'm, I'm, I'm on a 12 hour flight back to look at New Zealand's scenic airport. And hear the airport say sex when they really mean six, which is very funny to me. Was it nice, the New Zealand airport? They made me get off, walk a weird lap, put all my bags through security again, and then walk all the way around and come back to the same plane we got off. Why? I don't know. And I didn't want to ask because I just don't want them paying, paying they any attention to me. They wanted to know you were serious about getting on the plane. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta want the America. Gotta be willing... You know, because I know I look normal now, but I have, like, this lingering past of being, like, stopped on the roadside by cops all the time when I was younger to just still have that feeling in the back of my head like someone's going to look at me like I'm suspicious. And I'd like to get through this whole trip without having my asshole fingered by, like, you know, airport well, staff. I'm sure many would agree. Let's see if these polycanthus turn things around and then we might as well piss off. So everyone say goodbye to Gabriel again forever. Toodaloo. Because uh, this is it forever. Yeah. Although I, I might come back to at one point in the future to first baby shower. Yeah, well, to christen your children with platypus milk, which will 
Okay. Enliven them and give them the vigor to fend off animals, be they large or venomous. Well, if you enjoy Gabriel, why not go to that shitty little stream he other stream he does now? <laughs> Pisswit little goddamn Mickey Mouse operation. What's it called again? Uh, they can find that out for themselves. You really don't give, give a toss. I bet Aaron might listen to this and go, why didn't you <laughs> say why didn't you say on the more populous stream what our stream was? Uh, yeah. Go go yeah, is 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 Aaron on now you can go upset him. He plays like Destiny and those other things where you shoot at stuff to get more points to buy guns to shoot at stuff. Keep it classy. I will plug it because you didn't. Um. The streamer's got to stick together. Oh, apparently he's live right now. Oh, yeah. Go tell him he looks like a hairy pear for me. That's something that you, you can all do, all 300 of you or whatever. Just jump right in. Tell him he looks like some fruit that rolled under the couch. All right. Come on. Go on, Polycanthus. You're going to be my like star attraction. That thing could fly if you launched it strong enough. I don't agree. I oh, feel no, it look, it's got those like little things on the side. You could get some aerodynamics out of that. It will fly vertically for a, a short distance and then <laughs> could, splat. Could hover. Oh, here he comes. Look, it's the most interesting part of the game. Na, 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 na. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 freak of nature. Oh, I guess it didn't need social points at all. And the new one, adding to the population, is probably going to make it uncomfortable. Oh, well. Ah, uh, what, you can't be friends with something that's covered in spikes and seems kind of belligerent? Yeah, I mean, seems friendly enough. Aaron says hi, he does look like a hairy pear. So it's kind of bungy. Yeah, oh, actually it doesn't now because he's actually lost shitloads of weight. Sort of like a hairy pear that's been in the sun for a long time. When you said hairy pear, I thought you meant P-A-I-R. Ah, oh, no. Yep, is suddenly there's too many many people in this enclosure for his uh, liking. Well, fuck him. This enclosure is not big enough for the five or seven of us. Well, thanks for watching the post EP stream. As I said, Gabriel's pissing off now. Toodle will never be back. Nope. And, uh, you have nothing more to hope for since it's already come true. You've met your god. What is there left? And there'll be no more streams from me for the next two scheduled streams. So there won't be one this weekend and there won't be one next Wednesday you either. You absolutely need to get the butler to do your stream for you. Yes. Tell, no, that is that is a work of brilliant art. Like, just don't know anything about you. Doesn't know what this is. I want you to conduct a one-hour stream. Yes, he has to. Apparently, uh, the person paying for our honeymoon also paid for a butler i'm telling you like that would be the best thing like a butler <laughs> hello welcome to my butler's going to stream bye i'm gonna go sit by the beach with a nice drink but that, that would be weird but yeah. it'd be the best no we're not going to stream next wednesday god uh we might be streaming the saturday after that because we'll be back then but we might also be knackered so uh you'll get what you're given stay in touch on Twitter, at Yahtzee Croshaw, to know, to be in the know. It's also where you send your dick pics. And remember to watch Gabriel on Keep It Classy every week. Yep. Five days a week. Bye, everyone. Toodles. Bye.